<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Supermarket Simulator. Yes, Amber, I drug you along to the new stream. Don't worry though, the prologue for um, My Horse Bonded Spirits will come out on Monday. And then you can give it a try yourself. It was a lot of fun. Look at me chat a little bigger. There you go. Hello, hello everyone. Safi is here and Caitlin. I'm doing well, thank you. Sushi steak. Oh, it's an earlier one, Caitlin. You lost your safe. Yeah, I don't, don't know. I make a backup. Uh, simply copy paste my safe file or basically the whole folder. <clears throat> Every time I stream, that way I never lose more than a few hours. Hey, John. I'm your favorite. Well, thank you. Auntie Rob Edgar, thank you for being here. Streamlabs here as well, of course. <laughs> hey, Nat. Ah, Rose is here as well. No, you're not late. I just started. Hey, Johnny, Rupesh, and Gibbles. <laughs> Time to mark up prices. I wish you could. I wish you could mark them up a little bit more. Uh, to, to make things faster, I've been really just marking them up just above the market price. But especially with the more expensive items, I, I would probably be able to do it just a tab more, wouldn't I? How do you find your save file? Uh, so there is an easy way to do it by just putting it in your command center. But uh, generally, I just go to the C drive. Um, hold on. <laughs> it's easier when I see it. Let me see. We go to, um, yeah, this PC, then you go to C, users, then you need to find your computer name. And there should be app data and the, yeah, it, it's a bit of a list. If you, uh, I could look up the, the speed link for you or show you on the discord. It's probably easier, but it's local low and then Nocta and there's a supermarket sim, or you just search for supermarket sim. Honestly, that would work for, because the folder itself is called supermarket sim. Uh, the thing is I. I get in that folder almost every day. I'm so used to it because I back up a lot of games. So sometimes it's hard to explain when you do something so often. All right. So last time we had uh, Extreme Makeovers uh, Super Supermarket Edition. Honestly, that's what I should call my stream. I just realized that. Um, I moved almost almost everything about. The only thing I could really do more at this point, and we we could test that real quick. Yeah, I could. Uh, what? Hold on, I'm gonna test something. I just want to know what it looks like. Problem, of course, is that we can't really fold up any shelves, right? And I put everything so that it fits exactly. So the only way to think about maybe adding more shelves is this. I mean, I'd have to change some, or some order around and things. I just want to see where it ends up. The only thing is that this one's not going further to the right. That one's going back to the left. So it's going to be just as long as this one is. So we, but, mm, yeah, so we don't get more space there. We're going to get in trouble with that. Well, actually we could leave that one as is. We just, we wouldn't have any space to walk in the back though. That's the downside of it. It's a little bit longer. It would be quite tight. Doable though. 
how much extra space would that give us if we do that is this one extra shelf hold on i'm trying so that if the if the pasta goes over there that gives us one extra shelf on the other side same here that's two extra shelves three it would give us three extra shelf spaces if we do that do we need that space right now not really let me see here because we have space for the coffee and sugar from this one and after that it's really we need to get to level 56 right I'm just thinking what what would we give more space if we do do that honestly what I could do is put the bread here and give this bread more space that's doable right now because that space is left over so this is where the sugar and coffee is coming giving the chips more space would be nice giving the bleach more space would be nice yeah because we would have another path there it's an option it's an option yeah we can do that i mean i already started but as well continue <laughs> hey radek Uh, yeah, if I had like something to put here that's not a fridge, because I don't need more fridge space, right? I, I have a fridge outside. I have two spots right here. That's enough, really, because I have this small one here, too. I mean, I would like more fridge space, but I could also move this milk and put more fridge here. Could I put two there? I don't... I mean, it would stick out a little. Oh, maybe one and a half. That should fit. I have one here, so I can test it. I, I long debated on what I wanted. Um, more space to walk or more storage shelves. And I realized that we just... Storage shelves is the most important thing in the game. We just need more more room for more stuff. Hey, Ecstasy. Hey, Megan. Hello, alone. Kiwi. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's a good one, Amber. Yes. I always use just, I just click on it and then get there. And then it's uh, local low Nocta. In there is the supermarket sim folder. <laughs> that's milk. <laughs> Yes, I'm good, thank you. The shop makes me... I have the same thing. It is a bit claustrophobic. The thing is, though, that just having more space makes it easier to keep everything full. Like, I would love to give um, the coffee their own shelf, but that's going to be tricky at this point. But we'll make do with that. Okay, so, well, why don't we give it a look-see... As it would look at the front, right? Hold on. It is so finicky, the moving stuff around. Because it moves. But this, the slightest pixel movement is like a half a meter. You went green just now. Why didn't you fit anymore? Oh, there you go.
Hmm. Keeps glitching into red when I try to move a little bit to the left. Why? Queen, thank you very much for becoming a member. Welcome, welcome. There you go. It's tight, but it's certainly doable. <laughs> we'll just have to decide how to put everything then, though. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> huh. There was a notification for it, but it was like a present, not a Freya. Interesting. I'll have to see if I can uh, find that one to change it. There it goes. I was waiting for that. Oh, all Gotham. Thank you so much, Quain, for gifting five more memberships. Megan got one. Amber, Jewel, Mr. Doom, and Yeshar. Yeah, Yeshar, sorry. Very nice. Thank you very much, Quain. <laughs> oh, right, we're going the wrong way. I'm sorry. I'm not paying attention. Completely distracted. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's start on this side then. I might have to do some switcheroos though. Thank you, Queen. Oh, and that of course means a member giveaway. Also, counts of course for Twitch. Everyone can join in. All are welcome. Oh wow, it actually loaded on its own this time. I think Streamlabs fixed some stuff. Good news, good news indeed. There it goes. Raffle has started. Type in exclamation mark raffle. You need to be subscribed on YouTube or followed on Twitch to join in. If you do win, say something in chat and then send me a message on Discord. I will send you a list of keys that I have and you can pick one. I just think mm -hmm. so here's the thing of course I would like to keep the rice with the pasta what do we have then yeah because here we have more pasta and booze okay let's let's move everything and then we can switch some shelves around hey G rod <laughs> exclamation mark hassle no, long time viewers most likely will have many of these games that I have to give away but feel free to try I mean it's not a huge list just keys I've left over okay, okay hold on <laughs> sensitive baby it's like one pixel it fits on. There we go. Now, let's hope we can fit one here. Otherwise, I'll have to move them again anyway. But let's get this moved upwards a bit first. Okay. 
And then we'll see if we can move things around to keep things together that, you know, just feel like they should be together. Also, the pot is nice too, but yeah, we can fit quite a few shelves there. And we can see what we would give more space. And we could move the milk a little bit into the, away from the, the cleaning stuff and into the store. So other than that, today we're definitely going to get the coffee and sugar license. That also has a bunch of soda. And after that, yeah, it's uh, up to level 56. That means that we're gonna be just earning money and working towards those space upgrades. That would allow us to give everything a bit more space. But for, for now, we're just gonna... Uh, we're gonna add some more shelves. At least make space for them. Uh, yeah, but we can't move that one. That's okay, though. Uh, we, we might be able to fit another fridge here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe a half. We'll see. We'll see how it fits. Either way, this is going to give us even more space. I didn't need it, so I let it be yesterday, but it is nice. Now, I'm not sure this is going to fit. We might have to move stuff around a bit more, but... Okay, that does mean that we're gonna put the non-refrigerated drink farther away from the refrigerated drink, however. Okay, so what can we move here? Definitely the chips. So I'm guessing we're gonna be putting... Ah, yeah, I see the problem now. What I can, yeah. I look for answers, I ain't finding loads. With me and you, you know I gave it all my life and soul. We drifted off and still it's left. Let's see, this, this just all fits together. It's just the rice that we can still move. Um, see, if I put this one here and this one here. We're going to be splitting apart the pasta. However, I can move the pasta over here. That would solve the problem. However, that would split up the rice and the pasta. I can't really move. I mean, is that a big thing? No. Is that a problem? No. Why, why not then? Um... I'm just thinking what we could give more space. The chips definitely need more space. Um. Oh, hold up. Let me move the pasta first. We can do that. Come on. Oh, come on. It's very, it's, it's in there tight. <laughs> I do need to buy more space, but it's 16k. 16.5 and k so yeah. Right now I'm trying to get more space without buying it, basically. <laughs> Yeah, 
There you go. Put you here for a moment. Just in case I need you again. Okay, so we don't really want to split up the pasta, right? It's tricky because there's no shelf behind it, which means that I need to be very careful not to put it too far backwards. I could put the rice here. Actually, that is a better idea. That would keep it together. Though the rice with the with the potato could work as well. Let me let me see how the mm. unless. What I could do is put the salt and pepper back here and put the pasta over there. That would put all the pasta, flour, bread, potato, everything together. No, not the bread. The bread's here. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much. I'm just thinking, how do we not split up the drinks? But do give the chips more space. That one is going to be tricky. Unless we put the potato chip. No, they're not potato chips. Well, those are potato chips. Put the chips with the potatoes? Yeah, why not? Oh, wait, that's not gonna fit yet. Um, and I put a box there. Oh, Nima. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I made it very difficult for myself. Give me you. So one new shelf here for the other flavor of chips. That's going to make life a lot easier. Then here we're going to put the rice. That means that the drinks are going over here. Eli, thank you very much for subscribing. And congrats again to the new members. You can now use all the Freyas in chat on YouTube. Let's do it like that. We can always... Uh, But needs be we can move some stuff around again. Okay, so the question is, can we put a fridge here? You know, there's no walking space on this side, so yes, actually we can. Means we can buy two more fridges. How many shelves can we buy? One. Yeah, very awkward. I'm, I'm going to skip you away with the... Uh, two. Three. Four? Did I forget the rice? I forgot the rice. Three shelves. So we have space for... Three fridges. Unless I move... Uh, wait. No, where we're going to put the rice over here. Unless I move the milk, and then we could add more fridge space. Oh god, it's not gonna fit, is it? Shit. <laughs> and I don't know which side on it doesn't fit. Hmm. 
Nope. This one away. That's pretty even. Okay, hold on. Just give it a bit more space. As long as I get it in there, I can just shuffle things back uh, in the right place. Okay, there's one pixel on which I can place it. I see it glitch, come on. <laughs> Precision work, hey Black Beauty. It, it should fit, come on. Yeah, don't, don't mind me, I'm stubborn. It's the, it was the past that it really was the problem I see now. It's a little bit more forwards than the one I'm standing on right now. There you go. Uh, yeah, the rest we'll see is we buy more shelves. So the plan is we c um, actually no, we're I don't we're gonna I'm gonna split up the uh, the bleach. So that means we can't put another fridge there. Maybe a half one. We'll test that when I buy another shelf. So we can add at least one more fridge. What I also could do is move the milk and add more fridges there. Let me see. So we're basically good for this license. We just need to buy one more fridge. To make it all fit nice. So once we reach level 56, what do we really need? Honestly, what I need right now is more space for these items. more than I needed for anything that's on a shelf. Okay, where are we putting you? With with the, the coffee and tea. I think that's perfect. I mean, it might have the alcoholic milk, but we can dream, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have one space left here for the chip chippies. We'll need some we need a shelf for that. And one for the bleach. That's two shelves. We have a freeze fridge outside, so one, two fridges, maybe half one if we can fit it as well. Perfect. More space. <laughs> Gotta still sell, sell Sims eggnog. Yeah, we make our uh, uh, Osaka makes the uh, eggnog. While I'm a good cook in general, I get too fussy with it, uh, afraid that I don't cook it enough. And then generally it, it, it starts curdling, you know, the, the egg starts cooking when it gets too hot. So he makes it because he's impatient and he actually makes it perfectly because of it. It's really stupid. <laughs> if you cook uh, 
anything with egg too long, obviously the egg is going to solidify with the little pieces of egg. All right, well, it's a bit, bit tight. Honestly, the lights are pretty good. They're not perfect. Well, here they are, actually. I could add another row of lights and put them exactly above the the rows above the aisles but i think we have enough light in the stores it's we don't need to we do what we're good at in the end that is true okay no bills we have a little bit of loan left to pay off but that's just that's going well, no rush with that. It doesn't cost us extra if we let it go longer. We don't have a whole lot of money. Okay, let's fill the store and see if we have money left over to buy a shelf or something. We're definitely gonna fix these fr uh, freezers. They are gonna cost us a bit more per day though, in electricity. Yeah, I think there's more than enough light. I don't think we need more light at the moment. All right, let's start with some cleaning items. I think I already filled it up pretty well yesterday. We do need bleach. The blue green cleaning spray. So, cleaning spray, the other bleach, and yeah, there. Actually, this one is six per block. This one is eight. And that means that actually this bleach and this cleaner should be split up before we do this one that'd be a pain though because i'd have to split up the bleaches mm. it's not a big deal though if i move the toilet paper around a bit but for now this is uh, as it's gonna be anyway I love how you start typing when you even look at the screen, so you're walking towards it and www. <laughs> hey, Xayla. <laughs> Giveaway over. Okay, let me just check the freezer real quick. Hold on, I can't see how much is in there. Yeah, okay, so red pizza uh yeah fries the red pizza and crab sticks do we have a yeah oh <laughs> i got stuck on the box there okay we have toilet paper and chicken outside nice and frosty <laughs> you found it savvy very good yeah, it's difficult to explain if you can't show it Can you edit it? Can you just edit it like like that? I'm gonna take a sneak peek real quick. Now I'm curious. Uh, yeah, users me update. There are text files in that in there. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's an ES3. <laughs> Well, I mean, they're not, I don't know if they're going to be mandatory. However, I do know they're coming this weekend. And they made an announcement today. And unfortunately, uh, I followed their announcement, but they don't send it on to their followers, unfortunately. So it didn't show up in my channel. But uh, they talked about how the Discord, their Nocta Discord is the only real Discord from short supermarket sim and that there uh, then there wasn't going to be an update that day because there's going to be the restockers are coming and they changed it from stalkers to restockers and i do think that's important to note because that means that you do need to appoint a shelf to a product before they can restock it <laughs> so <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Um, so yeah, but they said that it was coming this weekend. Fingers crossed uh, was next to it. So let's wait and see. It might be a few days later, but if they think they're that close, it can't be far away. Now, in the meantime, let's see who won the giveaway. Jay Lee. Jay Lee, are you here? <laughs> Thanks, Jeepo. You can edit the money. Honestly, if you really want to see Endgame, then we might have to. It's going to be quite some hours if we do it by hand. We'll see how it goes. So far, I'm still having fun with it. There you are, Jay Lee. You're here. Very good. If you could send me a DM, just a direct message on Discord, I can send you the list after the stream and you can take your time and pick one. And what I should do is reset our goal. Well, Safi, my my preference would be not to edit the save file. <laughs> but, uh... Oh no, Nat one all, lost all their sheep. No. Let's start with some cheese. One, two, three. I love it. Oh, right. We have one more space over there. I would love to... If I had another fridge for the meat, I could give them uh, all like half a fridge. That would be my preferences. And the eggs too need more space. We need big eggs. It's, I have everything so close together. It's hard to see. No, I think it's pretty full. We need, we do need the little eggs though. Last, uh, last night, yesterday, I lost track of the eggs. Tuna. Did I change your pricing? Yes. Okay. Uh, wait, I'm clicking the wrong one. The tuna. Yes. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's easy to see from here. We need milk, orange juice. Yeah, that's it. Milk and orange juice on that side. To close this off now. Always the same. Gotta switch everything back to the front again. I, I'm still looking into because uh, I had a goal for a uh, a new screen 
think you, uh, I did reach that. I do approximately which one I wanted. Uh, we're just looking into specifics now because the problem I run into is that really I want a little bit bigger than I have now. But I have 27 inch, which is honestly pretty big. But because I use it so much, a little bigger would be pleasant. Also, I really need a higher quality than what I have right now, which is a very basic, cheap uh, quality. Oh, it's old. It's old. Let me put it like that. It's years old, that screen. Um, great as a second like chat screen. Not so great for gaming. Um, but yeah, I need to decide. So we're looking at reviews and all that stuff. Yeah, really, we only need sushi over here. You know, trying to make the final decision on the few options we have uh, ready. It's honestly hard to decide sometimes when you... Uh... Uh, let me put it this way. I remember a time where you would just go to the store for, you know, anything you wanted, really. And they would have everything ready that they had available. Uh, on, you know, on average. Oh, this one. It's a sushi, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's also the tea. You know what? The tea can wait. I think, uh, I think that's the very expensive tea, isn't it? This one, the green tea. Yeah, no, we can easily go a few days with that still. It can wait until we have some more money. We need normal sugar. Okay, let's do the sugar first. We need all the sugar except brown. Get our shelves full again. Oh yeah, it's, now it's full. There you go. to see what I put there we could give the honestly we could give these more space that would be good it can wait a moment though uh, honestly just some vodka would do vodka how expensive is that oh no it's not too bad let me just track the pricing I'm not sure if I did that last night I think I did usually I'm nice enough to myself that I did that Uh, yeah, Safi, that, that's the thing. A lot of people are sending me pictures of their, like, enormous cheat supermarkets. And, you know, it's it's great that everyone got that far. Uh, I just, I like to play my own way, so I try to avoid those. But you're free to share them, and I'll throw a glance at it. But I'm not going to study them and, and copy them, and which seems to be a lot of people expect. Let's see, we need candy... I, I just mean don't be disappointed if I don't do it in the exact same way. That's all I meant. And I'm sorry if that sounds harsh. A lot of people have a lot of opinions about my supermarket. <laughs> and I know you're not one of them. Um, do we need... No. We do need pasta. And cereal. I just realized it sounded a bit harsh. I'm sorry about that. Okay, okay we're doing quite well with the money. Uh, right, the bread and the rice. Uh -huh. I think we'll be okay with the rice. Uh, maybe some of the white rice. This four. Yeah, and some small bread. It is honestly tempting, though, to make sure we get... Uh... <laughs> Bad Robert, down Robert. No, you don't, don't say sorry. I realize I'm overreacting. It's... <laughs> I, it doesn't matter if you show me pictures. Go right ahead. I'm just going to be 
you know, setting up my supermarket as works best for me right now. I mean, I'm not happy with the way my supermarket is set up right now because it's too cramped. But it does give me a lot of space. So that's the upside. Uh, no. I would love to get a shelf for the damn chips. They need more space. Hot sauce and mayo. Yes. Let's add that. I'm sometimes a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of messages people send me. <laughs> That's what I saw, Pied Piper. Well, you hear what you want to hear, Robert. <laughs> you tell him something. No, I know that. I know that. I, I take it all back. Thank you for sending me the pictures. It's going to be a while before I get to a point where I really have the supermarket I want. Oh, I shouldn't forget this damn shelf, should I? I forgot that one during the cleaning stuff. Let me see. It's hand soap. Oh, well, that's handy. We have 600 bucks left over. I think we can set up the chips at least. I like, I like doing that, going step by step. So we don't lose track of what we're doing. Okay, 300 bucks left. Uh, hold on, where's the... There's the shelf. Please fit. This one at least we can fold up. Come on, I'm trying to move it a little bit. Oh, I let go and it just popped into green. That was great. Okay, uh, once we find the chips in the pile outside, we can uh, set that all up. Well, there it is. <laughs> Found it. Yeah, we should have the red one on the left side because those are potato chips and these are corn chips. Need my logic. Hey, a lady. <laughs> now you can't say that, Savvy. <laughs> Even if it's true. <laughs> Robert's like, I can't read it. Nope. There we go. Much better. And there's the other chips. I'm good, old lady. I'm just messing with peeps a bit. So I hope you're all having a good Friday. Honestly, we could definitely use another box of that chips. Any plans for the weekend? I don't really have any right now. Well, I mean, obviously, uh, hoping the restocker update comes out. Well, yeah, fair. It's, it's just gone on to Saturday for me. Gotta visit Curly. Nice. Maybe if I'm able to sleep, uh, we'll be... I'm having real trouble sleeping last few weeks, but... Uh, so I get up really late, which is really annoying. Because uh, <laughs> we can't really do anything when I get up late, obviously. Uh, we had actually wanted to go to the, the movies tonight. The the new Dune movie. No spoilers. You will be <laughs> you will be immediately banned if you spoil that movie. Um, but yeah, it's, it's too busy. It was just booked full completely. 
So I'll just have to wait a little bit so we can go. I did forget to book tickets last night. I'll do it tomorrow. I want to see it in the IMAX. Uh, but yeah, maybe you go to, uh, as we call it, the, the black market. It's basically, the, the, it's also known as the Eastern market. It's in Beverwijk. It's just a fun afternoon off, basically. Just walk around. Look at the leather coats. <laughs> Your kids are going to see it in the IMAX theater? Not you? Uh, okay. I'm a bit of a Dune fan, so... I should really read the books. I've basically seen everything else, you know? But haven't read the books, even though I re read a lot. I did like the 80s version too, even though it was... I mean... What I know now about Dune, obviously it was a bit campy. But it's a cult classic, really. I don't have the patience for audiobooks. I can't stand podcasts. If you want to give me a homicidal, force me to listen to a podcast. Because they always... Um, they talk too slow. It, I keep having, I keep predicting what they're gonna say, and then having to wait for them to say it, and it gets really annoying. Because here, I, you know, you need to think about what you say, but usually I really talk like this. It's a lot faster than normal, and it, you really need to be able to follow it to, you know. <laughs> I think if you would hear Osaka and me talk like in real life. It, it goes... <laughs> <laughs> also, I've, I've heard that the books of Dune are really... They're not the easiest books to read. Which shouldn't really be a problem because I've read Lord of the Rings as well. Which is also not the most easily digestible book podcast sent you to sleep oh not me i just i get annoyed i get really annoyed i also can't listen to radio uh, it's not everyone right but a lot of them just talk really really slow now if you're having an actual conversation with someone that's okay because you know you know you're gonna answer but with a podcast it's just like can you get to the damn point or <laughs> Of course, you also have very annoying people doing podcasts. Because ev everything is hilarious. And, uh... Hmm. We could definitely fit another box of that in as well. Uh, put this in uh, any and then cheese. So what I'm doing is basically checking to see what could fit a box on the shelf. Because if it can fit a box, it will get a box. Not that one. No, I don't. I'm sorry, Robert. I don't have the patience for it. When I'm listening to music, I have to uh, do something else as well. With one exception, there's one song, and I only listen to it because I, I heard about it that it was very special. It's made by scientists to be the most calming song ever made. And it's true. It like it, it lowers your um, heart rate. It's yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting. I can share it on the Discord if anyone is interesting. But it was specially created just to be calming. Okay, Sushin. Shh, 
fiance, don't give it away. <laughs> yeah, if that were true, we'd have our bacon Freya already. Now he's been really busy. He's getting, uh, uh, well, obviously he needs to work his job, but then also has training. Uh, and yeah, thanks for the customer, you know, all the difficult stuff. So we're all waiting on bacon Freya, including Freya, who, was, who just wants the bacon. <laughs> uh, what song was that? Um, what is it called again? It's Marconi Union, Weightless. It's called. Oh, the song is called Weightless. It's created specifically to be uh, very common. <laughs> you listen to audiobooks and random YouTubers. Well, at least I'm one of the random YouTubers. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Yeah, we actually listen to most of music when we're actually cooking. You know, something uh, that requires more work than... Uh, wait, are we sure this is empty? Yeah. Uh, more work than the average meal. I really haven't done any... Well, like cooking big meals, you know, something that takes a lot of work for a long time now. Channel's just taking up all my time. Since I generally stream after dinner, dinner is often a bit easy. I mean, it's still just normal good food, but not something that takes four hours, you know. What's like pulled pork? <laughs> I don't think you've ever heard me yell at Osaka, have you? Slow, slow cooked shredded pork with a sweet barbecue. What? What is? Hold on, I'm curious. Oh, sweet pork barbecue salad. I see. I see. Yeah, it's been a long time since I made pulled pork. Usually when we stew any type of meat, it's generally beef. Hold on. Did I add honey? No. Because we can definitely fit both honey and peanut butter in there afternoon order yeah it is very interesting brisket is better than pulled pork but i don't think i've ever had a real brisket that kind of barbecue restaurants it's just not very common here unfortunately No, good Mexican neither. It's... Well, basically it's either mediocre Mexican or bad Mexican. <laughs> Just... Though, from what I saw, the Mexican place here nearby finally... Uh, finally got it better. I wouldn't say good, but better than before. They had such bad reviews. Oh, fits exactly. Sometimes hard to see in the freezer. Well, they had horrible reviews and then they reset 
their refuse on the site where you could order. So it, it was suddenly the restaurant had zero refuse. I was like, yeah, right. All right, let's do this. Corned beef brisket, nice. St. Patty's Day? Is that, has, when's that? I don't remember, we don't have it here, obviously. I always thought that that was actually in, in February. I could be wrong. You're in California, your boss from London tried to convince you Mexican food was better over there. Well, I mean, if we want to be really specific about it, it would be cooked to the English tongue, right? The English taste. So I guess he would find it better. But it doesn't speak well of him. <laughs> it probably uh, lacks a lot of spice. Because the funny thing is, of course, that the Dutch and the English, they had their fleets all over the world just to find spices. And what don't we put in our food? Spices. Now, it just came in perfect timing, Luna. Well, I mean, I grew up, luckily, with... Um, an adventurous cooking mother who went to her Pakistani neighbors and learned how to cook roti uh, chicken. <clears throat> we bought the pancakes, to be clear, because they're really hard to make. Um, but luckily we had a toko nearby that just sold them frozen, which... Uh, the thing with those pancakes is they're really big, really big, and they're stuffed with chickpeas. So to get that right requires like 30 years of training. You know, only, only grandma can do it. It's basically that kind of food. <laughs> hey, crew. <laughs> but the, the English can have... I mean, not, all, not everything is bad. I do like Mia. A good English breakfast. Uh, not a big, big fan of the beans, but the rest of and, and nor the. I don't actually know. Do I like blood sausage? I don't know. I don't think I've had it in a very, very long time. I don't remember if I've ever had it actually. Maybe my dad had it once. I haven't tasted, but don't really remember. Sounds like something he would do. <laughs> Uh, that's my own fault, by the way. Uh, as a child, I always wanted to taste everything. Including the sambal. Really, I was so stubborn. My mother... I don't know if you guys know what sambal is, but it's a chili paste. Uh, it's from uh, Indonesia, in this case. And my mother just gave me a jar with a spoon because I was so stubborn. I say good on her. I probably... I probably uh, knew better after that, right? of a love story. <laughs> well, they do use a lot of it. That even in, if you look at uh, Mrs. Crocombe from the English Heritage site, uh, they reenact uh, the her. She plays a cook. Well, no, let me put it this Mrs. Crocombe was the cook on an English, an old English mansion. For a lord and lady that lived there. And they reenacted on that site, including the recipe she all wrote down. It's pretty cool. And it's clear they do use the spices, even though, of course, they were very expensive. She was cooking for the lord and lady. So she was making things like curries out of that from that time. So it's pretty interesting to see. Yeah, there we go. Um, 
I mean, it's just like the Dutch. We do use the spices. However, if you go to eat typically English or typically Dutch, yeah, you won't come across it. But that's not what the English and the Dutch eat. The English and the Dutch eat Indonesian. They eat uh, Suriname. They eat uh, food, of course. Uh, Indian food, you know, everything with a lot of spices. We actually ordered curry tonight from the from one of the Indian places that delivers here. It was very good. And I asked them, because Osa you know, most of you will know, Osaka loves the spicy food. So I asked them, please make the vindaloo. The vindaloo is already a very spicy uh, curry, but it's always too bland for him. So I asked him, please make it extra spicy. And he said for the first time, he finally got a curry that he said was actually spicy. So I said, I'm not eating it. I'm not touching it. It's all yours. Because <laughs> if he thinks it's spicy, it's probably going to kill me. a nice pile you got there. Be right with you. There you go. Okay, we'll fill that up tomorrow. From Los Angeles, Mexico is only three hours away. Yeah, here, the, the Mexican food is generally very boring. Very bland compared to real Mexican food. Yeah, Vind Vindley is supposed to be hot, but they're like, they make it Dutch hot, and that's not what he wanted. And yes, sambal is really good. I especially love the brandal, brandal sambal, because that's. It has like a bit of a little bit of a smoky flavor, but we have many kinds in this house. Many hot sauces and chili paste and sambals and yeah. And a Thai curry. Uh, a lot of Thai food here is completely oversaturated with um, the what's that herb called again? Um, it's not basil, it's, uh, it's the one that a lot of people think tastes like soap, but I don't, I like it, but they put too much in it. Oh, what's, uh, what's it called again? I can't think of it, of course. You guys will help me out. Cilantro, thank you. Yes, it's just... I don't know what they're covering up, like probably the, the lack of real flavor of anything else in the meal, but it's not, it's not good. It's too much. Oh, no, let's not give him uh, that much back. Tex-Mex is spicier than Mexican food. Had, I never had the chance to taste either real Mexican food and real Tex-Mex. Here it's all Dutch Max, I guess. <laughs> lots of beans, lots of rice, too bland. Oh yeah, if you do it right, the the chef will come out of the kitchen to check if you're still alive. That's where you know you're eating proper spicy food. <laughs> Absolutely. And we've had that once. Um, it was actually a, a wok restaurant. Now, I like spicy, but it doesn't have to be super spicy for me. I like just a little bit. Osaka, he doesn't taste spicy until my ears are on fire, basically. So, you know, your throat hurts so much, it goes to your ears. <clears throat> so, and we were in a, a wok restaurant, and that means that they have, like... Uh, raw meat, raw prawns, uncooked veggies, and you, you put some on a plate, you give it to a person, and they walk it ready for you, uh, you know, to eat. Uh, let me see here. 
And he asked for extra spicing. You saw them just look around the corner of the kitchen to check if he was okay. <laughs> it was really funny. Because they did make it spicy and he did like it. <laughs> now where did I hide the chips? Over here. Yeah, don't don't throw too personal stuff in chat. It's never a good idea anywhere on the internet. What did I miss, Luna? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's when you need help, it's honestly just getting the help sometimes is not as easy. Right, we were gonna actually switch something around here, weren't we? I think we'd probably better put the toilet paper in the back. That uh, would allow me to keep a better eye on things. Luckily, we have a, one space here for a shelf. I think that's the only space in the whole store where we can still put a shelf down. <laughs> Don't fill it up with anything, Nima, because we'll, we'll get stuck. There's a little gap still. I wonder where that came from because I had I didn't have it before. That one's a little farther back. Oh, interesting. It's okay. It, it fits well. Uh, yeah. So then, and after that, it really doesn't matter that much. Just put this one here. Yeah, I like that better. It gives us a much better view of what's going on in the aisle. Okay, so this cleaner and this bleach need their own shelf. This one really has eight bottles on each block and this one has six. But this one can wait a bit longer. Mm. So that means that we put the bleach under here, I think. Yes. And then the other bleach here, and then we'll move the cleaner over here. That works. DJ, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. Um, I would honestly prefer to have this one there. We don't really need... I mean, it's not like it matters if it's bleach or not. Is there still something in here? Oh, there is. <laughs> My mistake. Ah, it said it didn't match the size for a second. Oh, that's that one. Right. 
But that one doesn't need to move. That one can stay. Uh, let me see if I can fit a whole box there still. Don't think so. There you go. He only sold one chicken today. Interesting. And one of that toilet paper. Okay, let's check the rest. Oh, we actually made quite a bit of profit today. Despite me doing an afternoon order with a, with a shelf. Uh, sorry, did I miss a question? Uh, you can box a shelf with products on it. From what I've seen, though, you would lose your stuff. It really differs per day, Kiwi, uh, how much you... Uh... I don't really... No. Okay, so next step is some bridges then. Let me see, we filled up all the shelf spots right now. Do we have two extra shelf spaces? Because I moved the milk that was here. <laughs> uh, ta -ta I don't think I have any more boxes in the store. No. All right. Not bad. Uh, cheese and candy. Alrighty. Uh, no, that one's actually so correct. Oh, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to, gonna, gonna need to fill up some expensive slots there. Well, I think we can at least add one fridge. Actually, we have a fridge, right? But did I put that one to use? No, here it is. Um. Okay, so I have two choices either because this fits exactly two here. Um, and I have those for, for the soda. So either I have it stick out, which is not a big problem really I mean it's not the greatest look but it would give us more space space I wouldn't use otherwise anyway now that's good uh yeah, we can split this up a little. I can move the moussaka with the other boxed foods in here. I would really love to have the salmon together, but right now that's that's just a pain. Uh, 
Unless I swap the, uh, if I swap, swap. So dust do we get four, right? Let me check real quick. I need to pay my bills anyway. Uh, license. Next one, uh, yeah, it's four sodas. So really need one, two, three, four. So we can fit three more fridges there. So we'd have one and a half space left over. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Hold on, that one can go a little bit further back. That means we at that point we have a little bit more space to split up this meat. Because really, this needs a whole nother fridge in there. Okay, we're going to split this up now. Yeah. Uh, what? Are, oh, wait, what are we going to put here? Of course, the fish. Uh, no, wait, hold on. Um, there you go. Now the fish is all happy together again. And the meat is together. We can still somewhat hit, <laughs> hit the light box. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is all, this also makes it much easier to see the the eggs there on the and the salmon is together again. Everybody's happy. <laughs> I might have to do some switcheroos here because I like the to keep the packets of drink together and then the bottles of drinks and then we here we have the small bottles. All right, let's uh, start ordering. And since we're working on the fridges, uh, let's start with the freezer. <laughs> Wait, do I need to... Actually... Do I need to buy you right now? No. Because I have an empty one. It can wait. I can't put it down anyway. Because it's just going to take up... Uh, electricity. I like doing the freezer first. Uh, we just filled this up. This as well. Nobody bought that. Okay, we're done. Right? Yeah, right. These are only freezers. Okay, Clive. This is honestly great to see you guys are all so nice to each other. <laughs> Compared to some other chats I've seen, it's honestly amazing. Really nice. But I am sorry you're all having a hard time of it. It's, I've, I've been there. It sucks. But it does get better. It just takes a shit ton of work. Unfortunately. Oh, hello. We have a lost little cheese there. Let's save him. So, 
There you go. Now I can see exactly how much I have. Uh, where's the musica over here? But we're gonna move that together with. Um, so I'm gonna have like pastries, and then the lasagna and musica really count as full meals. So they're, they're gonna go in here. I would like to split this up too, but we'll have to see if we're gonna have enough space after we buy the next license. Oh, you're right. I did forget the freezer with ice cream. Hello. Um, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Um, 24 ice cream. That should do. Thank you for that. I got it. You're right. This one is so much out of sight. I completely forgot it. Let's order us. Uh, wait, can we fit come tape? No, we can't. Um, we do need the other two, though. That's mozzarella and the mimolette. Then we need hummus. That's what's down there. 16. Can we, how many can we fit in there? 4, 8, I think. No, it's 8, 16, order 2. Hold on, accidentally walk towards it while typing. Uh, while uh, looking at the screen, I mean. No. It's hummus. There you go. Mm. Get some eggs. Sushi, at least the big one. Yeah, the scallops really... You could count those as ready meals. It's If you look at the packaging, you can see like... It's... it's um, yeah, it, it is. It's scallops with spices and mashed potato. It's okay. It can stay with the fish. It's maybe in the future we can make that like a transfer from the packaged foods to the fishies, something like that. But the thing is, crew, I don't have any patience whatsoever. For people who are rude, mean, or, yeah, that's... Because I have found that if you let one person just talk like that, it ruins the atmosphere for the whole stream. But it means that we have, yeah, we have a very, very, I have a very pleasant chat. Absolutely. I do not, I'm never really worried about having to moderate, also because I have great moderators, but... Nothing much happened. We have, of course, had our times where there were a lot of spammers, but I think YouTube really tore those down, so that's great. Wish Discord would do the same. Yeah, so if you ever send me a link, please don't be insulted if I don't just open it. I've had some bad experiences with scammers. Also, just a lot of messages. Uh, which one did I need? The, the turco, right? Yeah. Yeah, I really need to watch my... Uh, uh, yeah, because we have more space for the beer. Okay, there's one, two, one, two. There you go. You need to be so careful nowadays. Ooh. I mean, it's a different subject than the chat atmosphere, but it is important. Yeah, I really wish I could... Well, you know, maybe if I hit the 10k, I'll buy some keys of this game. Or I'll just buy people this game. You know, do a giveaway for it. That'll be fun. Since everyone loves it so much. I'll need to hit the 10k first though. <laughs> then we can have a party. No sausage link. 
But there are some good uh, free games, yes. Not a lot, of course. <laughs> What's your game genre, Luna? The missing link. <laughs> You're the missing link. <laughs> No, that's fair enough. Everyone should be picky about how they spend their time. Um. Oh, no, I remember now why we wanted another fridge. For the meat. I think we can afford it, though. However, if we add all the meats, we might not. <laughs> Let me see here. Veal chop. Uh, steak. Uh, ground beef? What was the last time? The chicken. There you go. Do we need... Those are really hard to see if you need more of them. I can't see how many there are. And I think there's only one. How's there butter? Also one of the things I can't see. I think we need prosciutto. There you go. At the fridge. Um, I don't think I can fit a whole box of those in. We need butter. I think we do. Better just buy it. It's not that expensive. Um, that's, um, right. I started with the freezer today, so let's start with a look at some cleaning stuff. How expensive is this? Oh, not that expensive. Two, three. That means we can definitely fit one of that cleaner on there. Yeah, one should do. Uh, dish soap. Cleaning tablets. Oh, we're full up. Uh, got the Yo. Let me see. Yomo cleaner. Which one is that? Oh, that's this one. Okay. So, dish soap and tablets. Get my fridge first. Well, they can't do that here, because we have uh, curse protection. And I know sometimes the bot is a bit overzealous. But yeah, that's... You know, you either have the bot or you don't. There are some levels in it. But yeah, they, it just has a word list. Uh, a store tour, absolutely. B and G inspiration. Oh, that's a fitting name, then, isn't it? All right, so I mean, it's a bit of don't don't mind the mess outside. I'm working. So then uh, we come in here. We have uh, ice cream right here. It's well, it's gonna get filled up in just a moment. Then we get to the cheese, and then get to the eggs. Obviously, here we have the freezers can't stand in the fridge. So there we have the fish. Then here we get to the drinks. I'm preparing for next upgrade, so we have some empty freezers right now. Uh, there's the the beer. The Musica is gonna join these pre-made meals in just a moment. Here we got the meats and the butter. Then of course I have the setup with the 
Our registers right here. This is our cleaning aisle. Toilet paper is all the way in the back there. Coffee, sugar, milk, and uh, the yeah the booze in the back. <laughs> the beer and vodka. Here we have cake, candy, cereal, and bread. With uh, right the pasta and rice as well. And then here we have the flour, oil, condiments, potatoes, mashed potatoes, spices, and chips. And then all the way in the back we have the the hand soap and shampoo because we ran out of space in the, in the cleaning aisle. So I'm just started to give more items some more space, really. The sweet durian soap, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Who the hell thought of that? Like, what's the worst scent we can give something while still making it somewhat believable? Honestly, that's it's a good one because fruit flavored, uh, fruit flavored, fruit scented is really quite common in soap. Though I don't like it unless it well lemon is okay, but I I prefer just you know soap flavored soap basically. <laughs> oh, did it not go in the wrong? No, okay, we're good. I thought it went on the wrong shelf. You finish your Pringles chips. <laughs> Very sad. Uh, let me put the meat here so we can... Actually, where, can we, where are we going to put what? I'll see. We would put the beef together, right? And then the veal and the chicken automatically is just left over. Or do we keep the expensive meats together? And I still say it's lamb chops, not me, uh, not veal. A bonus boss level, they come in right before closing. You mean a Karen event? Oh, you have to shop for them. Yeah, basically a Karen event. <laughs> Honestly, that does sound like fun. Uh, lavender? Yeah, it's, it's okay. I, I usually prefer... Uh, oh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to put the the veal here. I, I usually prefer blue flavor. Blue, blue scented things. It's just... It's a very specific scent. Blue. That steak. That's not what I wanted. Okay, and then we're going to put the steak... I have a box now. Here. Oh, uh, no, wait. You, you can stay. And the chicken is going over here. And I missed the steak there, I see. No, sorry. That's ground beef. Okay. I think I got it. But if not, I can just sort it again. Mountain Dew Blaya Blast Soap. <laughs> Is that a real thing? <laughs> we haven't had Mountain Dew. We, for a long time, we didn't have Mountain Dew here. Because there was an ingredient in there that wasn't allowed here. I just heard it from a friend who'd been... Uh, who'd been to America about it. And he was so happy that uh, he could get it again. Favorite flavor of Claire crayon, red of course. <laughs> the yellow tastes like happy. Uh, yeah, scent is uh, S C E N T. In case you were curious. Yeah, lasagna here. That sounds good. I do like lavender, but it also can get pretty 
overwhelming. So I generally get, you know, blue for my clothes and things like that. Perfect. Uh, oh yeah, maybe I can... Can I use this box for the musica? Yes. Well, we were actually pretty low in that. Perfect. You know, if I can find another spot for the hummus, I can do the same thing with the cheese. Just put it straight. Though I quite... Like, you know what? Nah, not, never mind. I like the variation. Having the cheese different than some of the other products. It doesn't all have to be same, same. I find just reading English and, you know, listening to it helps too. But if you just read it, it helps a lot with recognizing words and learning how to spell all of them. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I was just lucky. English has always been very easy for me. I grew up with BBC on the TV. You know, we had three Dutch channels and two British channels. And German, but I didn't speak a lick of German. So, of course, you know, if there were cartoons on BBC, I would watch BBC. Which is the, the British Broadcasting Company. Just to be clear. Um... So I grew up with that. So when I, you know, we didn't really get English until I went to high school at 12. But it was one of the more important classes at that point. But well, I pretty much already understood it. So we learned more about it. And I basically switched to reading English books because I got really annoyed with Dutch translations. And I bought Harry Potter. I think it was 14 at the time. I bought a Harry Potter set. Um, I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't have a lot of... Um, uh, what do you call that? Pocket money. You know, you put, which you get from your parents' allowance. So there was a really, really cheap set of Harry Potter books. And of course I'd heard of them. And I wanted to read them. Uh, and it was just, you know, paper paperback. But it was in English, and it was a whole set, one to four. So I bought those, and I read them in three days. It was pretty good. But then again, the first four, first four books are, yeah, in my opinion, quite a bit better than, than the rest, but... After that, I just kept reading in English because um, actually, after that, yeah, with Lord of the Rings, the translation was just really, really bad in Dutch. It was just horrible. So I basically went like, okay, but I want to read it because I like the movie. But the, the Dutch translation is horrible. Okay, let me get it in English. So I did. And then since then, I basically only have ever read in English. Because translations bump me out. Back before Nimalas became a multi-millionaire YouTuber. Well, <laughs> we're not there yet. I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> I'll let you know when I hit millionaire status. How about that? <laughs> Let's see if we can get the minimum wage first. That would be good. Uh, it's four languages, English, uh, Tereo Maori, sign languages, and wife language. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. 
I see. She's looking at me like she sees water burning. Hi, what is it? You want to put over here? She's thinking about it. It's, it's such a weird cat. Are you weird? Yes, you are. <laughs> I love cats. They can't understand the word you're saying as long as you're saying it nicely. Oh, come here. There, I have a pet. Oh, skin scratch. There you go. Wife language is Polish. <laughs> That's some good cursing right there. VTuber. I've thought about it. Um, it's. I'm a bit worried that it wouldn't match my current audience. Does that make sense? I mean, I'd have to see uh, about getting a good character mate, of course. I actually asked Osaka, but he doesn't know how to, uh, you know, create a character that you can link to the programming. Well, YouTube or Twitch doesn't really matter. It is a different audience. Because I have a lot of people who simply come here to relax and have me on in the background, you know. I'll never become one of those... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I only I only snort when I laugh, you know. It's I don't <laughs> Um we could use more beer, but it can wait. It doesn't we're not going to run out in one day. So let's focus more on the items we actually need with the 1600 bucks we have. Okay, so I finished up the cleaning items. No, I did not, because I didn't order toilet paper. Uh, yeah. That should do, because I should have some of the other one outside. Yes. Okay, shelf work. Now that that's all done. If we have any money left over, we can fill up the fridge more. Since we gave items more space. I don't know if I can fit another box of these in though. Let me check something. How much How much does fit in there? Oh, damn it. I, I just can't see it. Hold on. Maybe. I wish I could crouch. I think it's. Is it four? I can't. One, no, I think it's three. So it's 12 per block. Um, so 10, 34. Yeah, that would work. But we don't need it right now. So it can wait till we have leftover money. Frank Freya? I don't know where she is actually. I think she's in the, the living room on the couch sleeping. <laughs> but yeah, it's Mickey Mouse is, uh, is only the very first type of Mickey Mouse. Blue, thank you very much for subscribing. Hello, hello. Hey, Doug. Hello. Well, the thing is, if I were to be a VTuber, I would probably uh, be the... It would either have to be Freya, which I don't think is very expressive, or 
the, the girl from my avatar, which Osaka created for me, of me. But then I would have to find someone who can remake that in the same way. Um, and then, you know, make it in such a way that it could be turned into uh, an avatar. Oh, coffee's right there. That's easy. Let me see. Milka. Milk, I mean. <laughs> it's not milk. It's milk and vodka, not milka. Did we have a spot left over here? Yes. Maybe we could add some more of those kegs if I move the six packs. Is good. Uh, yeah, cake, chocolate, and candy. All needed. Chocolate. No, we just filled those up. <clears throat> Rice. We need a little bread. We'd have one left over. Yeah, let's get that though. Uh, we definitely need pasta. So bread. One, two, three, pasta. Hey, non sport collector. Steamboat Willie. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Ah, camp counselor, yes. I've been to summer camp, but only the one that, you know, you came home in the evening. It was basically just to keep kids uh, busy during the day. So there was this bus going around and then you'd have to be at the stop and then it would bring you back to the stop. Okay. Hot sauce. Salt. Pepper. Yeah, we're gonna gonna reach the end soon of our money. We need ketchup. Uh, yeah, really should do. I think you can wait though. Let's do the potatoes. Okay, flour. Uh, orange and red. Okay, we're st we're still good. Okay. Let's see what we can order this afternoon then. Some shampoo. Did I order normal potatoes? I think so, but we could use another one. And add a ketchup. There. Okay. That's ready for later. Let's get all of this in. Okay. 
keep forgetting where everything is now. I just moved it around again. Yeah, day camp, exactly. So it was basically one company that set that all up, but they had different options. So I usually went to the one by a lake in the in the dunes. Which was really nice. However, sometimes it would get... What do you call that? Uh, algae grow that was dangerous, so then we weren't allowed to swim. Which really sucked when it was high summer. But I've also been to the beach uh, camp. I didn't need this one at all. I ordered too fast there. Wait, doesn't this fit? Or did it just fill the... Yeah, no, it was just one left over. That's right. Um, so one time I went to a beach version of set camp, which was really nice because, you know, you were on the beach. However, they were so panicky over anyone going into the water which fair enough a lot of kids probably weren't the greatest swimmers but i was a really good swimmer and i thought we were actually going to be swimming in the sea and unless someone was basically sitting on top of you you weren't allowed to go deeper than your ankles so that was a really annoying camp for me at least when you go to your knees you can sit down and be in the water you know Uh, right, we were going to switch this around, but this one can fit in here. I mean, I do understand why the rules were there, but as a child, it was annoying. Let me put it that way. Um, that was our backup. Yeah, be careful with the sheepies. If you do uh, heist all or gamble all, um, it's very easy to lose them all. <laughs> Blake, thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah, the I'm not building up money at all at the moment. I'm spending it as fast as I get it in. But at least we were able to upgrade the store more. Now we can focus on getting that license. Uh, well, actually, I need two more fridges for that, don't I? Because the one I had, I used for... Oh, did I not order Musaka? I might have. I'll have to check. Uh, let me put this all in and then I'll do a run around in the store. Check what I what I missed. So we can definitely fit another box of elbows in there. Oh, you, right, they don't call it macaroni. They call it Pasta elbows. Exactly, we want it all. Well, I mean, of course, there, there's danger on the in the Dutch Sea. You can have an, an undertow, you know, be pulled away. But it was very rare. Generally, Dutch coast is pretty safe. I mean, do watch your kids. God, wasn't it just a very short time ago that I... I think that was in the US, though. But it can just as easily happen here. That a couple of children were digging a hole on the beach. Brother and sister. And the hole collapses and the older brother has to sand up to his chest. And the little sister did not. And she did not survive. And you can say what you want. Like, watch your kids and... Just, you know, don't dig deep holes on the beach because it's dangerous, but yeah, it's happened and it's awful.
Um, yeah, I got that. But then there's, you know, you can have danger everywhere. But yeah, can you imagine being a... a watching have, uh, having to watch a whole group of kids, you know, playing in the sea? Jesus. Not me. But, uh... I mean, what if one gets... What if two get pulled away? Even worse. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. I'm good. All the puree. Hey, auntie. You got caught in an undertow in Mexico. Yeah, it's... It's very dangerous, of course. Even the best swimmers can... Uh, can definitely get in trouble. They're reckless with the sheep, that's true. I see people are reckless with our new uh, our new little goat too. Yeah, well, you just need to know what to do, Trevor. Because it's, you know, if you don't know that, yeah, the good luck. So in case someone... But I hurt that you need to do if it happens is don't go against the current go sideways along the beach until you're out of it and then you can swim to the beach because at least you won't tire yourself out too much and then you can make it back you know but the, the, i try not to leave the story half finished <laughs> you know yeah you could die but i'm not telling you how to prevent it that that would be sad Flat blue candies. They look like a Ritter bar. What, these? I mean, they're both blue, but. I don't. I don't know what brand. I think. I'm not sure what brand this is based on. It's pretty basic, fancy chocolate packaging. Ritter bar are much smaller. Here. To be clarify. It's it's not that big in the Netherlands. I mean it's a known brand, but it's not as big as it is in Germany. They have a lot more flavors there of Ritter chocolates. But I prefer like Milka. Um, you have like Codor that's filled with praline. Uh, pr pr well, praline and praline, it's a very similar word, but it is something different. Because if you talk about praline, it's basically nuts covered in a hard caramel. And then sometimes it's chopped up and used as a decoration or just eaten whole. But praline is uh, well, very similar, but as a paste, it's all grind down. Hey, MC Crystal. Yeah, it is. It, yeah, it's, it was pretty bad. But yeah, it, digging holes in the beach can be very dangerous. Which sucks. Okay, yeah, so... See, you were clearly thought what, what to do in such a situation. And here it's so uncommon. Um, there are spots though in the Netherlands where it's super dangerous. When you get to the islands of the Netherlands, there's a lot of currents. Especially at the biggest island, at the top of the island, there are two currents coming together. It's absolutely forbidden to swim there. Much, much too dangerous. Yeah, we definitely need some musaka and the rest can wait. Over there, at least. Okay, anything else I might have missed? I might have forgotten. That water is also easy to miss, but it looks pretty full still. We could do with some more meat, but it's very expensive, and I think we can wait a day. We went... Uh, you know, it went fine when we didn't have it. Oh, I forgot this cleaning spray, I see. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe some more kegs? At least one. We did make more space for it. Um, oh yeah, the green tea I put back last time. Because it was so expensive. Honestly, we could use some black tea again as well. That cake can fit a box. Tea. Cake. That's some good. No cereal? What that is hard to see. Um. No, no, we can't fit a whole box. That's some quick math. I got the elbows in the list. The rice is looking good. Did I add the shampoo? I'll have to check. I did do the ketchup. That chips. Let me check for the shampoo. No, but the order is full. So let's open up because I'm also broke. <laughs> Yes, yes, the eggs are full. No, that area is not a swamp, Robert. <laughs> um, I don't know what the translation is for Vodden. So it's... Um It's an area what that when it's uh, high tide it's underwater, and when it's low tide there are sandbanks. It's it's a very dangerous area. It's definitely not recommended to go for a walk there without a guide, because you can just get hit with high tide and then you're basically in the middle of the sea. <laughs> you don't want that. No, we don't have any baby care products. Honestly, it's, uh, it's a big miss, isn't it? Was that something that's coming? I don't remember. Books. Uh, there's cat and dog food coming. And toothpaste. No, no. Oh, wait, let me get the order screen up again. There you go. Yeah, I do go... I do go down when I'm... You see that? That's why their feet are in the ground. Yeah, I don't know how to get that amount of money. The the end game items are are very expensive. And at that point it's it's literally just grinding to the end. Maybe if it really starts to take too long, I'll add some money to the game. So just so we can continue. But we'll see how it goes. I would prefer not to. Nobody's coming to my still. They're actually standing next to each other, not inside each other's yesterday. Don't think there was an update today though. Keisha. 
Who hate the design of the registers? And what would you have differently? Their feet are in the ground so they don't use the bathroom every five minutes. Fair enough. Yeah, baby care items would definitely be a good, uh, good option. Good night, Rob. So what else did we need? The shampoo? There was one other item. Oh, the blue flower, I think. There's no real rush, though. Of course, the moment I start to do something else, is they arrive to get the... Uh, get their attention that the upside of this setup is that I actually can fit a box there again without it getting in the way there you go oh he said something but about what? I didn't see it. Nothing seems to be empty. Did I make something too expensive? Hold on, let me throw this away. No, it doesn't look like I did new items. Uh, well, I bought a license yesterday, Gamer Mama, but not today. I just moved some shelves around again so we had even more space on the shelves. They're telling me either something is too expensive or something is missing. And I don't know what it is. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. I don't see anyone else say anything. 75, 80. Buy one of everything. <laughs> Let me see. 44, 9, and 50 cents. Yeah, I don't know. No, did no, they don't get mad if you leave them waiting. They just wait there. And generally they go to the other till, so it's not a big problem. I just don't feel like folding in my uh, register so often. We're on 99 likes. Thanks, everyone. Almost at 100. Who's gonna hit it? Oh, 
Something is too expensive there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wrong button. Well, it could just be one whiny customer. Yogurt. Maybe I missed the price change. No. We're literally six cents above the market price. They can go to hell. <laughs> Head first. Uh, five, one, two, three, four, fifty, seventy. Oh, there we go. 114 likes. That was fast. Thank you all. Every little bit helps. Every interaction helps me get found. Which is, of course, super important to keep growing. Oh no, there was more tea on there than I thought. There's the other tea. Right, it was okay. Played Outlast Trials earlier. Hey, guess me. Yeah, we're definitely not making that yogurt even cheaper. Okay, let me just really quickly grab a drink. I'll be right back. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, oh. So Freya's uh, on the couch. Having a nap. But they, there was a gigantic tiger in that spot. And they, they threw it off. That I honestly gave up putting it back. <laughs> For a while now. But, uh, but it, the bag... The tiger fell over... And let me put this over another cat basket that's on the floor. And Max is in there now. So he's just rolled up under that tiger. It's just funny. Oh, uh, right. We moved the butter over here. Uh, yeah, I did look around the city part. Some people said you could find stuff. And then I saw something about you needing to change your save files to basically turn mystery boxes on or something. But I couldn't really find it. So in that case, I generally don't miss. Oh, boy. Oh, maybe that's what they were complaining about. I forgot to look at the chickens. 
silly, silly me. Checking your reservations. Very nice. Yeah, a big stuffed tiger, but not soft stuffy. It's it's a solid one that sits up on your couch. Well, it doesn't sit. It lays down with its head up. Does that make sense? You know, as a tiger does. We have a lot of stuffies on the couch because we don't use the couch a lot. So yeah, it gets filled up over time. We have uh, a bunch of sheep. We also have some pillows, but the cats just throw them all off, you know, as cats do. Uh, do I ever visit coffee shops? Not for a long time. Uh, but I've never really partaken. It didn't do much fun for me. And the bread. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have any... Oh, yes, we do. We have the potatoes. One box in the store. There you go. Mm. Okay, so that was the yogurt. Production not found. Must have been the chicken. It's not too bad. It's only two. 59 customers. Very nice. Um, ketchup, cake, and sugar. Ketchup and sugar. Neither is here. Two forty. Wow, that one went way up in price. I'm never catching up. <laughs> no, that's that's true, but you're honestly better off just joining us for the live streams and then when you have time left over, maybe watching one of the older ones. Because that way you can skip through it and just see if something interesting happens. And this way you can come chat with us. Three slices of pepperoni pizza? Can I have some too? <laughs> it's a big fluffy kiwi. Um, the fruits are the birds. Considering it's a stuffy, it could be both. How are the, the meats doing? Not too bad. I mean, it looks empty, but we have more than we had before. The only thing I really want to give another space is the butter. But I don't really have any space left over. I mean, yeah, but that, that's going to be for drink. Um, actually, we will have... Yeah... Because we have four sodas, so one, two, three, four. And then we have, if we put two fridges here, we have one slot left over for, um, for possibly butter. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> Keeps it easier, makes it easier to keep an eye on it. Mm-hmm. 
You got more commissions, Rose? Very nice. And you had pizza. Didn't even share it on the Discord. <laughs> All right, let's start with some cleaning stuff. Dish soap. Mm. Can we fit a whole box in there? I think we can. No, this was pretty full. Uh, cleaning spray. an extra of the bleach drink at that shelf full then we get the toilet paper one of each would be good oh i think i actually also ordered some non-cleaning stuff let me put this away then we can have a better overview otherwise i might order things double but we really don't need to i oh, know it doesn't fit another box fish sandwich yeah so like i said before we ordered some uh, some curry tonight i had the butter chicken and the it's like that was that was the main so i would put some rice and naan and as starters i had the samosa chicken and the sea kebab which is basically just the a pastry pocket filled with like a potato vegetable chicken filling of course you know spiced and everything and the sea kebab is ground meat often la i think it's lamb actually uh with with spices it was quite spicy it was very good now you want your curry it's all my fault yes I really like butter chicken, especially because of the texture, but also it's very easy to maybe add something else that's maybe a little bit more spicy and still have it be, you know, not too spicy. For example, Osaka's Vindaloo, <laughs> Vindaloo uh, lamb. Although this, the sea kebab had a lot of vegetables with it, which I cut up and then put in the curry, because the curry itself doesn't have vegetables. Yeah, see if we ordered that flour. Uh, I don't think we actually have... No. This is a... Oh. I ordered too much. Yeah, I didn't. shouldn't have ordered that. It's fine. All right. Cleaning stuff done, including the stuff we already had in order. Let's check the freezer. The ice cream is good. Yeah, we definitely need a lot of chicken. Uh, fries and yeah let's get that pizza so that's this pizza fries one two three chickens that should do oh let me stretch for a moment two slices of pepperoni pizza and an iced tea La nice thanks cheers pizza party yay Broken Josh. We do have that one here. With, I, I, is that the one with spinach? And garlic and spinach? I'm not, not entirely sure. Of course, it probably tastes different than it does here. It differs per country, after all. Do we need to let know? Hummus is good. We need a big eggs and a little eggs. Oh, order is full. Oh, that reminds me. We need to pay our bills. And oh, just one more day for the last loan payment. Very good. Uh, no, the yogurt is still pretty full. Mm, 
salmon and tuna. Water? Mm -hmm. Both of them. Do some beer. Try and get that fridge looking full. Now once it's full, you can just, you know, keep up with it. some normal ham that's this one yeah so the thing I would love to order more to fill up this fridge but that's a lot of money it's gonna take away from I'm saving up for that license Just the musica. Also very expensive. It's not really needed. The meats though. Yeah. Especially the ground beef. Chicken is not that bad, actually, but the rest is... Okay, uh, fr yeah, fridge done. Continue on with the shelving. Coffee. Hailing, this is Supermarket Simulator, yes. It, it is, yeah, we're getting to the point where it is very slow. I honestly feel like people are buying less now than at the start. I'm not making enough profit to really get anywhere fast. However, I'm not sure I can really make things more expensive. Things are going fast, though. Oh, hold on! But I uh, got the oh no, I got the cake and candy. Very good. There's some chocolate. Peanut butter and bread. Yeah, I don't know if that buying that upgrade would allow for more people in the game, but it's 16k is a lot of money in the game. The thing is though that I had a time where I made like uh, at least 2,000 in profit. Right now I'm like on 1,100 in profit, and I don't know why. It should have gone up, not down. I thought I ordered another box of elbow pasta. Well, 
people are definitely coming in and buying stuff. We also got a lot of items that are extremely expensive. Let me see, potatoes and yellow chips. Now I did spend a lot of money on the shelving, to be fair. Okay, let's get this in. We'll see if we need a little bit more. But yeah, I break pretty much even each day after ordering. Well, if you have less products out, you get complaints. And then you lose, uh, you lose experience. Also, people wouldn't buy as much as they do now. Because if you don't have something, they'll just not buy it. So I don't really get that logic. But it should be the other way around, Blitz. People should be buying more items here because I have more items. <laughs> so that the logic does not compute there. I mean, it might be the case. I'm not saying that, but it's not logical if it is. But I'm only level 44 and it's really slowed down lately. But then I've done a lot of rework on the, sh on the shop itself. Moving things around also costs time. Oh, maybe I, maybe I upgraded the licenses too fast, but... My logic assumed that I would make more money if I had more products on offer. <laughs> the fact that you didn't spend your money on licenses... That should mean that you would go slower. That's not on us, that's on the game. So you can repeat for the fourth time that you have more money than me, which is honestly getting a little annoying at this point. Uh, but it's still not helping me, so. Because every time I get some money in, I have something to spend it on, so I don't know why you're not spending your money. There's the milk. Either that or you just have two times the amount of hours in the game than I do. But you're not leveling as fast because you have, you don't have what people want, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I didn't need the blue flower. Oh, well. uh, yeah, no, let's just put it outside. <laughs> don't want to have stacks of boxes everywhere in the store. I mean, there's all kinds of... Yeah, okay, but you keep trying, you're basically rubbing in that you have like 20 times the amount of money I have. It's not really helping me, is it? It's just making me frustrated with the game that it's going so slow. Because I'm trying very hard not to cheat, but it is getting more and more tempting by the hour just to add a little bit of money to the game. And get that a little bit faster. You know. Yeah, it, it does feel capped. I feel like I should be good. I should be getting in more money at this point, more profit. With the amount of products I have? Definitely. I, in the beginning, I really felt that if you had more um, more licenses, it really did go faster. Because uh, people bought more. People started buying more. People started spending more money. 
However, at a certain point, like when I reached around level 40, I suddenly started making less money. People started buying less, uh, or at least were starting to spend less money. But I'm not sure, of course. I, I could be wrong. It just feels that way. I mean, we're definitely getting in money, though. We're making profits. Yeah, we do have that uh, loan to pay off. That's also making it go slower. Well, that one's almost paid off, so not a problem. Actually, I could pay it off right now. Uh, yeah, why not? There you go. There, now we're loan free. Let's see how it goes. That should help a lot. Uh, plus, I, I bought a lot of shelves and products for those shelves, so I did really spend a lot more than I usually do on a normal, normal play day. Let's see how it goes. Well, you restarted and then tested out another way to play. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like I can turn it back, right? I can't say, okay, let me turn back getting those licenses. I don't know. We'll see. Why it's going, why it feels like it's going slower. Yeah, see, I should have gotten two of that flower. Add that to the order. But yeah, we do need some um, riches before we can get the next license. Let's see if we can make it today. Chicken, all oh, the chicken. Oh, I bought too little chicken, didn't I? I did, yes. I think I bought three when I needed four, at least. Boop, boop, boop. That's true, it's early access. It's, uh, it's not completely balanced yet. They're probably just looking at what people think of the stage they're in. It's gonna be a lot easier when we get that restocker. I, th I, I honestly think, because they said it's gonna be this weekend. Um, so if it's tomorrow, I'm gonna be playing tomorrow. If it's not, I'll probably wait till Sunday. Because <laughs> it is getting... I have so many products. I really need that restocker. And I'm gonna call it the stalker and restocker now. Because when I say stalker, my... L rolls because that's my accent and it sounds like stalker <laughs> and I've already made that joke before but people have been commented it as well it's fine I'm already glad I don't have a very heavy Dutch accent it's not too bad <laughs> thank goodness Get good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one, Rose. Exactly. It's also because I'm really thirsty. Let me take a drink here. Track infantry on the computer? Really? A lot of people want that and I can understand it, but I wouldn't really have to. Because even if you tell me you have so much of something it's still not going to tell me how full your shelves are i would very much prefer a hand scanner myself but both would be good yes rob went uh, night night let's see can we fit two boxes on here no that's good then. Right. 
This is Fritch. Yeah, I was for a second. I was just getting like, oh, I'm not making any money, and now I realize I bought I bought two fridges, two shelves, and I'm filling them all with extremely expensive items. So yeah, no wonder I'm not making any money right now. I should focus on getting the other license now. Plus the loan I had to pay off. Which I just did. It's, it's, it's gone. X. That's some ham. It's such a dark pink color, that ham. Generally here, it's... Uh, color's a little bit, little bit lighter. Um, well, the store itself can get bigger. I can buy space for a lot of money. But I can literally fit one shelf in the store and I, I can't put anything there because I need that in case I need to move something. <laughs> you understand what I mean? If I need to move a shelf somewhere else, I need to be able to have a spot to place that shelf down until I can put it back. Or put it somewhere else. To shuffle things around, you need one, at least one space right here where you can put one shelf, but the rest is really. Maybe I could put one freezer? No, I can't actually. No, no, that doesn't. The, the freezer doesn't fit here. I tried that before. I could put the shelf there and then put the freezer here, maybe, but I'd have to move all my registers again. And we're not doing that. <laughs> Pork the other white meat? I thought we were the other white meat. Uh, for, it's on steam, Nining. Honey ham? Honey ham is not dark, darker pink, though. Well, m maybe it could be. No, it's just French sliced ham. No, but look, the white edge is pink, too. It's just the color is a bit off. Or they dyed it to make it look more... <laughs> look, no, I know what it is. There's red lamps in there to make the meat look fresher. Yeah, but... Oh, that's right. We were supposed to test if we lose stuff on the shelf, don't we? Uh, I have here. Flour is super cheap. If I lose that, no problem. Okay, let's test this. There's one flower on there. Let's see. For a full test, put it down. Pick it up. Ah, okay, you don't lose your stuff. I was told you lost your stuff if you did that. So I never did. Okay, good test. Good to know. French ham is not honey ham. What do the French have to do with honey? What does it say? Outdoor bread. No, it doesn't say anything about honey. I do think honey ham is actually a very American thing. We don't have that here. We have pepper ham, not honey ham. <laughs> But if you guys want to call it honey ham, go right ahead. Oh, I see. You will lose your stuff if you save, quit, and reload. Just to complete... I, I don't care if I miss... If I lose one flower. Just to finish our test. Let's try it. Because I believe you, but I still want to see it myself. Okay, let's save. Quit the menu. Yeah, 
cracked. It's gone. Good info, AF. Thank you. That's a bit uneven. Can I move that a little closer? I don't think so. They're all just a little uneven. Hmm. Oh, wait. I'm in the way. <laughs> Standing too close to it. There you go. That's better. Okay, that's good to know. So you can you can do it while you're in the game. But can you imagine you have it all boxed up to move things around and then your game crashes and you lose everything? I would honestly definitely make a backup of my game before doing that. <laughs> uh, would turning the other three registers like yours and making two rows? Uh, no, that doesn't fit. Here you can see uh, it's broader than half. So it wouldn't, it would. Uh, there's also a hitbox to realize, right? It's actually this big. Ooh. Here we go. C Zero is gifted five memberships. Thank you very much, C Zero. Who got them? Joe King, Jody B, Leah, John Boy, and Exila. Exila? That was everyone, I think. Congratulations on your memberships. Remember. Oh, let me just. Let's finish the howling here. <laughs> if you want to be able to get a membership, if it's gifted, remember to click on the big green box in chat there in YouTube. Thank you very much, C-Zero. And that, of course, means we restart the music and start another giveaway. And then we set our goal. Whoop. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, no that's... Uh, it would have been nice if we could fit them better, but uh, people also wanted me to turn them around, which honestly them facing the door would be better. But people would stand outside to wait for the register. Um, uh, what did I still have on order? Let me check here. Uh, Potato, chips, oil. Okay, sublet's flour and farine flour. So that's the farine. Um, is this the sublet? We need mashed potatoes. Yeah, we, that, that's something we don't have yet. Potatoes. Well, the massum. Stick them in the stew. What's our sushi doing? I think I forgot to check that. Now we're good. I think we could really use another ground beef. I think that one. Is it though? Yeah, that one's definitely the lowest of all of them check my order though. Do I have any ground beef? Nope. And we have a little bit of money left and one spot in the order. Now the, the juice is really quite full. Throw in another bleach just to fill up that shelf. There. Just open up. If people can stand in my line, they can wait. <laughs> really, I need three more of these boxes. <laughs> it can fit so much. I shouldn't run in here. 
bump my head into the shelf. Kid cuisines? What the hell are kid cuisines? All right, so member giveaway, if I can see it. There you are, going on right now. You have to be subscribed on YouTube or followed on Twitch to be able to join in. You type in exclamation mark raffle. And then the winner needs to say something in chat. It's about 16 minutes more. And then send me a message on Discord. You can only win the one member giveaway once a day. Move your butt. <laughs> They're wrestling again next to my books. I should honestly just remove it from there. Before they really topple it over into my drink sometime. Hey, BLT. Put it up here. There you go. Okay, so we're still working towards that new license. Yeah, because I, I got the uh, the other shelves first for more space. It is very nice, though, to give those items more space. But it made it a bit slower today. Yeah, we definitely could use another box of puree there. But no rush. There we go, that's better. Hot pockets. Yeah, no, we never really had anything like that when I was a kid. Twenty-six fifty. Well, I mean, it's not like it's much better here now, right? With the healthy eating. Um, your niece called you. You, she had a hamburger for a month. But it's still bright red. How the hell is a hamburger red, red, bright red in the first place? Oh, yes, they just kept the color vibrant. <laughs> it's definitely bad. Wouldn't that smell, though? I don't know, but because if I have meat or ham that is like not, you know, not fresh anymore, I I smell it immediately. Beef gets brown. Yeah, as soon as it's brown, I know it's no bueno. I would have thrown him out. No, even even small buyers are welcome here. Oh, in that way. So it's it's not a hamburger. It's hamburger meat. I get it. Yeah. We use a totally different name for the for the meat than the product you make with it. But I get you. But yeah, any beef here that's out of date would have just turn brown. Well, not so out of date, but you know, get bad. Yeah, ground meat, minced meat. 
We call it gehakt. And that's it simply means if you if you chop something, it has been chopped, it had is gehakt. So it's literally just we're buying chopped. But everyone knows what it is. Everyone knows that you mean chopped beef or well chopped meat. And often then we speak about 50% beef and 50% pork. If you talk about beef, you say runder gehakt, beef, beef chopped, basically, <laughs> literally translated. And our has sloppy Joe. It's not hmm. things I see on TV and then on, on the interwebs, but don't have here. Though it shouldn't be too hard to make yourself. I glue pieces of meat together to make steaks. <clears throat> Sounds delicious. <laughs> Things that are not allowed here. <laughs> well, I'm getting less and less hungry hearing them talk about spoiled beef and glue together steak. <laughs> So basically it's pasta sauce in a bun. Sauce, not sauce. But then, you know, maybe probably a bit drier than that. Okay, yes. <laughs> it's pasta sauce in the bun. Well, now we want to see that video, Edgar. <laughs> Nobody's coming to my till. You know, how are we actually doing uh, on our touts? Because we need to be level 50. We need 1750. Oh, we need 500 more. That's not even that much. Considering we needed 850 uh, before. You know, slow and steady. We still have some time. Yeah, I'm I'm spending a lot at the moment. Refilling expensive items, giving items more space and then filling up the shelf, buying set shelves. Did I have more chicken ready? Well, I have chicken in storage. I don't think the day is pretty much over though. Don't think I need to get them. Oh, not there. Here. I don't think we have Roto. Yeah, exactly, Kiwi. But yeah, because we were at 900, so we've done 350. Really, it feels like more. It's a lot, though. I do honestly still think they need to lower those numbers. It's a bit silly for a manager to have to do manual labor just to be able to hire someone. <laughs> yeah, the fourth one is a doozy, but I don't have the right level yet either. So I might make it until we reach level 50. I'm not sure. How f depends a bit on how fast the leveling is going.
all the ham. Got some tea. Wrong tea. I think this is the green tea. Nope. <laughs> Still, was well, there one in there? Yes. Yeah, we. Huh. Wow. We sold a lot of that flour in the last moment. Honestly, really, the flowers, the pastas, the rice, they're all products that really need just their own full shelf. But no space for that, of course, so it can wait. We'll just order some every day. Uh, Rotel's green peppers, other peppers and tomatoes can't. I've, I have heard of it, but it's not something we can easily get here. I'm guessing you probably can order it online or maybe a specialty shop worked in the meat department in the grocery store for years buy early in the day uh, um, so generally our supermarkets have don't really have a butcher they have you know pre-packaged meat that gets delivered to them as is and it's generally really good quality it stays fresh for a long time because it's packaged under you know a good environment and then kept completely closed off from air so but one had a butchery section let's actually end the day now what looks not found really what i they need to tell us what it is I'm, I'm have, I have too many products that I know what we ran out of. I have no idea. What can't I see? The butter. Let's check the butter. Hold on. First, coffee, flour, and tea. Coffee. Tea. And then the flour. Of course, I just ordered that. Um, which flower, though? This one. Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, but to, to finish the story, we had one grocery store that had an emphasis on hat. A real butchery section and several times that we got something there they they had just you know cut it and then packaged it up and put it in in front of their yeah counter yeah counters the right word uh, however several times it was spoiled the next day now obviously we go back with that or you know or it was just already maybe two days later. We just toss it. But we stopped buying there, obviously. And then they removed it. So, so now they only have pre-packaged meat. And honestly, it's better that way. <laughs> it was really... Uh, they simply didn't clean their cutting equipment well enough. You call it shaved. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, Mickey, how are you doing? Yeah, so, and, well, that was okay because we don't expect much from a supermarket. However, back then we still had a butcher in that mall. And that mall is like a 10-minute walk from here. So it's really handy to have. And we had a good butcher in there. And, you know, you, we got meat from there often. But also from the supermarket. Because especially, well, Lidl is just good quality here in general. I shouldn't call brands, but honestly, that's the favorite store here. <laughs> so, but yeah, that butcher couldn't get stuff. So now they're gone. Uh, they had a different location, so they moved everyone to over there. And I'm really bummed out about that. 
because I'm not we have one butcher a little further away and it's just not as good we have a very good um, Islamic butcher but obviously they don't have pork duh which I would like sometimes so we generally just get it from the supermarket I don't remember did I buy what's it called I'm good Maggie thank you yes oh, sorry I'm, I'm talking so much I'm mixing things up just needed to check that Check this cleaning, of course. Yeah, one shampoo should do. Okay, so hopefully we now have... We have quite a bit of money. We no longer have a loan. We do need to pay my bills. But now it should go faster now. Because I have my shelves pretty full and the ex really expensive things can wait a bit as long as I have enough to pass through the day. Hey Sonic! Beep beep! <laughs> yeah, we'll be okay though. Let's do the freezer. Did I check the freezer already? I'm really messing myself up. For some reason I had in my head that I already ordered chicken. Probably just getting a bit tired. So let's order some chicken. There you go. Okay, what else do we need? I prefer to actually stand here, it's easier to see. No, that's pretty full, that's good. Pizza's good. Check the ice cream, don't forget that again. It's actually pretty low already. Let's get one. We'll have some leftovers, but that's always the case with the freezers. Tim, you got your ticket? Yes. Okay, let me... Which is the next? Make sure I don't forget that. Let's see who won. I know, guys. I know. Uh, pick a winner. Lemon Gaiman. Lemon Gaming has won. Please say something in chat. So I know you know you won. While well, I check the fridge. Ah, that's what ran out. It's the hummus. Hummus. Get yeah, two. Because we're completely out. Yeah, though that's the thing, right? If you have things only on the bottom shelf, it's really easy to miss. It's okay though. It was just one item. Uh, I think we need all the cheese, actually. Cheese. Where's the samples? I ate them all. You had four espressos? Well, you be just, you be a chatty catty all you want. You go right ahead. I, I always need to be the chatty catty. You can do it. <laughs> Let's get a yogurt to go. Uh, big eggs. Let's give Lemon uh, a chance to reply. Non-sport collector. Thank you very much for subscribing. I didn't miss Blake, did I? I... I I had a bad night. I, yeah, no, I'm starting to forget stuff. It's really annoying when you realize that. The moment you realize what it feels like <laughs> for grandma. Oh boy, no. Um, yeah, a small one too. Whee! Mm. 
using milk in a juice. Just this, this, this. Milk. Mm. Lemon Gaming, are you here? Lemon, lemon, lemon. You do need to say something, otherwise I can't send you a list of games to choose from. Uh-oh! Give... Uh... No, they're not on Twitch. Uh, besides, I think the announcement of who wins actually appears on the channel which the winner has entered from. Yes, there you are. Very good. I'm glad I caught you in time. Uh, please do send me a message on Discord. I will send you a little list of games I have available and you can pick one. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, just a soda will do. Okay, this side. Yeah, me thinks we're gonna need to uh, order some of those more expensive packages there. Let's see the galettes, the pastries. Wait, wait, do I need lasagna? Because I think. No, 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 I don't. Because I did order that one, but not the others. I'm paying extra attention because they're very expensive. We do need the musaka, uh, as it was explained that it was pronounced. Um, butter's looking pretty good, I think. <clears throat> yeah, that's more than enough meat to get through the day. I'm trying to order a little bit more sparingly. While still keeping my shelves full. At least with the more expensive items. Oh, we're almost up to 150 likes. Very nice. Okay, I'll complete the giveaway. Yes, that's reset. Very good. Okay, let me get my all my info. And there's chat to the front again. I already did the cleaning stuff. See, that's why I do it separately. <laughs> Could do with some milk. We definitely need more kegs. <clears throat> Which is also quite expensive. Oh, we're full up. Okay, got the six pack. Yeah, I do too. Fill it up a little bit. Um, yeah, we need normal sugar and brown sugar. The chocolate is going fast. Spaghetti and bread. Okay, so chocolate. Spach. And the bread. Uh, that's not bread. This is bread. Okay, uh, what about the rice? Yeah, the white rice. Mm, that's still looking good. Materials are still... <coughs> Actually, no, we could fit cereal. Yeah. No, nope, let's order some cereal. Get it fill up. Rather that than having it run empty. 
Madboy88 with a one pound. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Streamlabs is taking a sweet time again, I see. But we'll get a notification in just a minute. I hope. <laughs> There it is. Told you it's taking a sweet time. Thank you very much, Madboy88. Thank you, thank you. Let me see. Uh, red flower, orange flower, and mashed potatoes. Just trying to... Memorize what we need to get. Oh. Just mash, please. Next one will be chocolate candy and cakes. Very nice. Uh, two potatoes. Chips are looking good. Two potatoes. And the green oil, I do believe. Yes. All right. Yeah, I think I know what happened with the chicken. I ordered some yesterday, filled up this fridge, but I haven't filled up this one yet. Yeah, so I guess as the game is right now, it's probably better to focus more on just earning money with some licenses that you have. But yeah, I still think you should earn more the more licenses you have. Because if you have more products, people would buy more at your store, right? They would buy it all here instead of going to another store to buy those products. But it doesn't seem that's what's happened. <laughs> Focus on your grind. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is a bit. But luckily with you guys, I'm still having fun. So it's all good. Just getting a little tired, but that's has more to do with the fact that I haven't slept very well than with the game. Oop. Oh, yeah, ice cream. Wait, did I get it? Oh yes. No, oh, it doesn't need to be closed. Just let it melt on the sidewalk. There we go. Well, I mean, if you only have, I don't know, ch ch say you only have cheese and bread. People would come here, buy cheese and bread and leave. But if you have uh, drinks, they would also buy drinks. And if they have, bo if you have booze, they would also buy booze and etc, etc. Eventually, they'll do all your shopping in this store. All their shopping, sorry. Oh, you guys can come shop too. Tony with the $49.99 sushi for the floofs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that would be hilarious though. <laughs> Just give them a piece of sushi and see what happens. What do you think about that? M Missy does not approve, but then Missy is a very picky eater. You need to lose an employee in a checkout? How the hell would that speed things up? <laughs> oh, fits perfectly. Very nice. Now, the thing is, the customers really generally walk through things. Unless it's a shelf. There it is. There it is. Sushi for the floof's grin. Yes, all the sushi. Thank you very much, Tony. 
Thank you, thank you. I'll get to you after the stream, Lemon. Congratulations. But the thing is, the customers, they walk through each other. They walk through the boxes. While they do walk, you know, past the shelves, they will just get to what they want to get. They're not... I mean, we can watch it a bit more closely. But so far, they just walk everywhere. Not really bothered by my layout. And get their stuff and get in line. I mean, even in line, they just, you know, overlap each other. Now I'm just imagining getting some sushi and giving it to them. See what happens. It would be very funny. I don't know if Missy would do, do something with it. Uh, sh she's the only cat, cat I've ever known that doesn't like wet food. We've tried several brands. She just doesn't like it. She likes her, her crispy namis. Make another goal? Well, I mean, I can always think of something, but uh, not at the top of my head. <laughs> I mean, nah, the floofs. <laughs> oh, me. If we do something for the floofs, I need to set up that cat cam. The thing is, uh, it's a bit of a... That part of the desk next to where the cats are, a bit of a, a mess. You know, like I said, there's some books there. There's an old camera. It's just... Ah, botherations. I ordered too early. So I need to clean that up first. She's a crunchy girl. Yes, she is. Uh, but then they're not as adventurous with food as Freya is. Like Freya will take a piece of cheese or, you know, something she doesn't really know. She'll sniff it and then try it. But the other two, no, no. If they, if they don't know it, they'll be over there away from it. All right, Auntie. Cat only likes crunchy kibble. I don't really give human food other than maybe uh, a tiny piece of cheese or, uh, you know, if I ever have a dessert, they get a little lick of oh, well, whipped cream. They do like whipped cream. But that's very rare. I mean, we don't want to really give them sugar, do we? We do really well, well i'm working towards another license now just because it's the cheapest thing i can buy in the game at this point i do really want to work towards more space but at the point that we you know i am now and i would get more space we would really have space to put to set things up differently like if we add those we could add um yeah because we could add and then, yeah, a row against the wall, and then here behind this one. Or we put this against the wall and give everything more space. Because we really don't need that much more shelving. A couple might be nice. We'll see. First, we need the money to get there. <laughs> 
Oh, right. See, I now have 1600 left over. Now we're talking. Now I'm not down to zero, despite buying some very expensive products. Oh, you don't go there. So what I need is 5,600 for the license and how was it? Uh, I think 750 for two fridges for the soda in that license. Though really I could get it with one too and then get to the other fridge later. It's also an option. How do people get through? They just walk, the NPCs just walk through each other. Um, the thing is, you have to realize the shelves, see this space you have here? This, they're standing against each other. The space here is, is the walking space each shelf needs to function. Um, can we fit more bread in there? For sure. It's quite empty, actually. Um, wait, I didn't have more bread in there, right? No. I could add another fridge there. I don't have to put it down yet. Just buy it. In preparation. Because we do definitely need one. <laughs> Too many zeros. Okay. Uh, why not get a loan? Because the max loan is 5,000. Which honestly doesn't help a whole lot. I mean... Uh, but it also costs a lot of money. So it's better to... Um, how to put it in the best way. The... Yeah, well, this, yeah, the 5,000 loan is very expensive. It costs you, I think, what, what's it? Six, 1,600 extra to take it. Just for, you know, for the medium time. You have to pay it back in five days. It costs you $1,600. In that case, it's better to just work a couple of days... And then buy it. However, the 2000k loan is much cheaper to get. Which is a bit silly, honestly. <laughs> also, I just paid off my 2k loan. So here, let me... So if you take a 2k loan for five days, that's easy to pay off. It costs you... Yeah, 200. I think though my last payment was 480. You don't pay extra, right, for paying it off early. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so let me see. This, uh... Oh no, they did make it cheaper. It's 625. I guess it's less than it was. But you would have to pay it back in five days. So comparison, um, 2.5, so if you do 6 days. So this would be a good comparison. 2.5 the amount, 2.5 the days. You would pay 1875. Extra. In comparison to... Uh, 240 times 2.5 is 480 plus 120 is 600. So here you pay 600 extra, and here you pay 1800 extra. The yeah. So you're better off taking three loans of 2,000 in the end. It's a bit complicated. They they made it a bit complicated. Um, while we have the money, let's add that one fridge. 
Because we do need that. Purchase. Let's open up. We don't need to place it right now. Just keep it packed up. That way, I don't think we have to pay, pay electricity for a fridge that's packed up. Takes such a long time for people to come in. But yeah, I'm just careful with uh, with loans. It can add if you get impatient and just take all the loans. It's gonna add up in costs. And we don't want that. Yeah, here, look, see, he's just standing in the boxes, just grabbing his stuff. Let's see if we can catch multiple people in one aisle. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, there, you saw it really quickly. They just walked through each other. See? There's no collision. And the, the walking space they have, you can't place anything there. So that's always available. The walking space the shelf needs. But I'm definitely sure that people are buying less for a couple of days now. Yeah, hold on. Let me see with something else. Nope. Uh, yeah, no, it's right here. People are still walking through the store in the exact same way as they were before when they did have enough space. Okay, cereal filled up. Luckily, I can also walk through them. <laughs> can you imagine if I couldn't? My goodness, I'd get nowhere. Get the last couple of things on the shelves. close to 150 likes there's three more to go who's gonna be number 150 Whoop. here see they walk through each other just nobody's blocking each other uh, it would have been better if they could have space in the back that was the upside of my pre previous setup where I had a line of shelves against the wall they were able to just walk in the back however this gave me three more shelf spaces or actually two more shelf spaces and two fridge spaces so they'll walk around <laughs> it just takes a little bit more time and the thing is that the only only thing that happens because of that is that we close a little later which is not a problem because after closing time i check all the boxes i have in the store And in the meantime, we just tried to get to that 1750 checkouts. <laughs> just do like, how many do I do per day? I don't actually count. Uh, it would be great to know if there's any gameplay effects a customer buying more or less. Yes, 
because I really thought getting more uh, licenses would have them be buying more. But now it just suddenly had... It did. For a while it just went up and up. People bought more and more and then we hit like a couple of $200 customers. And it just dropped down. And I don't know if it's been an update. Wait, hold on. No, it's zero. What? I need new glasses, I guess. Oop. Turn on some light. And I uh, should not forget to take another picture of the new layout again. 9.5 subbed, very nice. Yeah, we're getting close to the 10k. Need an open sign here? Right there, right there. All right, coming. Beer and pizza, this man knows how to have a good time. Yeah, luckily time doesn't start until we actually open the shop. In the demo, it was... Uh, time would start the moment, you know, you loaded the day. And you couldn't order in the evening because the store was closed. <clears throat> yeah, that was tricky. Even with the few items we've had, we had at that point. Luckily they changed it in the... In the prologue already. And we got over 150 likes. Thank you, everyone. Uh, oh, yes, that would be nice. An open and close so sign on the register. Now you can fold up your register and just put it, you know, away as a box. And then people won't bother you if you really need to, to do something. But... They'll also just wait for you. They're, they don't get mad or anything like that. So let them wait. <laughs> if they decide to come to my register. If I only have a couple of boxes to do. Okay, it's nine. I thought I was done. Just go fill up the shelves, but no. Oh, another one for the count. Two, three, four, and 20 cents. Two, three, eight, uh, fifty, and sixty. Alright. Uh, what is this? Chicken. You've decided on pizza and hot wings for dinner. Not a bad choice, not a bad choice at all. Grocery stores put the milk at the back of the store so you have to walk to the other half. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Bread and milk in the back. And then, at least that's the case here. Though not all of them actually, bread is often also just to the side. Even at the... But that depends more on the space they have for the bread counter. Here we often have a big bread counter in our supermarkets. 
<clears throat> but yeah, you're right. Uh, milk, bread, and even cheese is often in the back. So then you basically need to go through the whole store just to get that. Was this it? No, no, we have some over here. And our one tea. Yeah, it's going much better now. Uh, water and candy and these eggs. Uh, water and candy. I don't know which water though. Let's check. This one. 30. And candy. Woo, piece of candy. Right, I forgot the box with the potatoes. There you go. <laughs> no, we need 5600 Anastasia. <laughs> Good night, Megan. Uh, it's just after lunchtime. Yeah, everyone does their store differently. Right now, I really have it all packed together to get as much space as possible. Also, because some t some items just require more space, so you don't need to a very panicky. Uh, oh wow, but that was cutting it close right there. Uh, have to fill it up during the day. Okay, let. I think if we do one more day, we can get our license. I think that would be good. Let's check our freezer. Two chicken. Hold on. Prefer to watch the other side. Nazful. Uh, yeah, fries and red pizza. One, two fries and pizza. Ice cream? No, no, because we just refilled it. Just to do it differently today, let's check the cleaning aisle. Mm -hmm. The durian dish soap. Give me some dishwasher tablets. Mm -hmm. Can we fit? Yeah, we can fit a box of that in actually. Cleaning spray. No, you're definitely good. Yeah, get some bleach. That's this one full. Okay, let's check the toilet paper because this is pretty empty. Uh, actually, we just need four and then... Uh, is that empty? Yes. Well, actually, we have some here. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Hold on. I still had some. Forgot to empty it. So, one green. One, two, three, four of the purple one. Uh, yeah, let's do the fridges first. Hey, Leanne, yeah, you're just in time. I think we need like one more day to get uh, the next license. It went slow at the start, really. I got a bit worried there, but I was simply refilling so many items that it was taking all my money. X. Is there sushi? Oh, the sushi. Uh, scallops and tuna. 
Oh, not Tona. Tuna. Salmon's looking good. We need water. Mm -hmm. and actually, cola still looks pretty well filled. Let's get some of the yellow beer. So, water. Oh, wait, we're maxed out. Um, I got the Iote bottled water. That means I'm missing one. Yeah, this one. Okay, check this side. Oh, we're out of prosciutto. That's not good. I so must have sold a lot last night. Oh, yesterday, I mean. Um, butter, chicken. Some veal and steak. Hold on. Just have to blow my nose there. Uh, supermarkets, uh, just like casinos, supermarkets and big chains, nothing is random. Uh, that is absolutely true. Jamie Oliver actually did, well, not I wouldn't say big research or something, but he did do a, uh, I saw a program where he showed us how bad it is in the stores especially for children so he sent in a simply a child with a camera on their on eye height to see what would what they see oh my goodness all the candy and everything that a child would you know beg for is all on their on their eye height <laughs> it is really really bad Let's see. Keg. Milk. Definitely two. Vodka. Oh, wait, sugar. Uh, the little sugars. So that's this one and this one. Vodka. There you go. Mm. I'm watching a, <laughs> watching a supermarket game where you just finished working in one. Yes. Chocolate is going quite fast uh, recently. Yeah, honey. A little bread. Little one. There you go. Oh yeah, with um I think there's eight. Yeah. We need one of those. Not the white rice. Okay. No. The rice. And pasta. And then one, two, three, because we're... Actually, there's really three, only one bag, is there? Do four. There you go. Fill it up. Apparently, the, everyone needed pasta yesterday. Oh, yeah. How are we doing over here? I forgot you again, didn't I? That's oh, pretty full. Actually, we could fit a shampoo. Not a hand soap, no.
Do we need two blue flower? No. Flower. Uh, shampoo. Mashed potato. Normal potato. Okay, hold on. That first. Potato. Oh, we're maxed out. Some mashed potato. How are we doing in the oils? That doesn't fit. Uh, ketchup, mayonnaise, and pepper. Ketchup, mayo, and pepper. Okay, let's fill this up and then we can check. See, maybe we have some space left over. Okay, we're gonna need more of this bleach. It's uh, it keeps emptying. Oh, oh, <laughs> it got stuck behind the box. Welcome back, Auntie. Yeah, colorful cereal boxes, candies, cookies. Of course, especially at the checkout, it used to be really bad. It's gotten a bit better. Uh, for a while here, we had uh, the healthy checkout, which was, of course, ideal for parents with little children who would see the candy at the checkout and then kept whining until they get some. So a parent could just choose to stand in the healthy checkout lane where only, you know, health snacks and other items would be. But I think they stopped with that after a while. I'm not sure why. I guess it cost them sales. <laughs> yep, work comes first. Welcome back. But yeah, it, it also re because we were talking about Jamie Oliver and this, you know, tests on children, which sounds really bad, but <laughs> it's all done in the best of heart, I guess. Uh, but he also did that trick with the that he showed children how chicken nuggets were made, how the meat was processed and ground down and. And then he made chicken nuggets with it, and then he asked the children, now who wants to have chicken nuggets? And of course, all the children were like, I want a chicken nugget. <laughs> because asking little children to connect such things together, it doesn't work. <laughs> and it was so funny. Because he meant so well, and he really wanted them to eat healthier. <laughs> and they were like, nuggies. <laughs> uh oh. And then on another side tangent, I immediately reminded of the test where they they simply had two glasses. I don't know what was in it, water or lemonade or something. Uh, and they had one tall glass and one white glass. But And they poured exact the same amount in both glasses. And each child, I think it was like, it was quite young still. Uh, but each child insisted that the tall glass held more. They were sure it held more. Convinced. And because children see that it's taller, the, the, the water line is higher, therefore it's more. That, that's children's logic. You can't explain that kind of consequence <laughs> with them, you know? It was very funny. Because children get vehement in the... Is that the right pronunciation? I guess. Um, Words I know how to write, but not how to say, because I've never heard it before in my life. Uh, yeah, in, in, in the fact that they're right. Yeah, it's very funny. Knock it off, kittens. Just 
straighten out my mess again. Really, every day it gets pushed in my face that I <laughs> that I have a mess here. I have too little space in the book closet, book cupboard. Oh right, the, those kinds of tricks. The, the cup is, is higher, so it looks like there's more in it. But if you pour it over, it's just basically the same amount. It's just like what I told Osaka when we were at the, the Burger, uh, Burger King recently. They have this new thing there uh, where you pour your own drink. There's a machine in the, in the space where you sit to eat and you just pour your own cola. And now I, I usually have a milkshake if, if we go there. And um, so that doesn't apply to me. You just, you know, that you get served. And he got like the large version of the menu and I look at him and I say, but you don't eat your fries or at least he doesn't eat them all. And you can just pour your drink, you know, at, go back to the machine and grab more drink. It's not really endless refill, but nobody's watching you. So you can just walk over there and grab more. It's not a problem. Um, it's not advertised as endless drinks, but you know, nobody's stopping you. So there's absolutely no use in paying more for the big meal than it was for the, no, the medium one. There we go. Meat refilled. Well, yeah, th that too, Kiwi, but in this case, all the children agreed, right? <laughs> Which one was fuller? So some things are also just a visual idea. More the better. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. Macaroni. There we go. Okay, come on. We want to get there today. <laughs> How long have we been streaming? I think about a bit more than four hours, right? Yeah, we're fine. be honest hey auntie you still here yeah i've seen there you're joining again for the eurovision watch party this year because it's, it's gonna be a hoot thanks kiwi uh so usually i don't follow it a lot before the actual show but it's on my for you page on TikTok, so it gets I, it gets slung at my head the whole day long. But I don't watch TikTok that much. But every time I open it up, there's more <laughs> there's more Eurovision, and 
it's mostly because the Dutch song has really exploded over well basically the Americans love it the Germans love it it's uh and it's it's weird to see that because usually th people from America you know they have nothing with Eurovision they think it's weird that, you know <laughs> You're not driving? No, but I assumed since you just, you know, w walked away for a little bit to do some work. Yeah, but did you see the Dutch song? It's... I, I've never heard of the dude, but apparently he's known in certain circles. Musical circles. Not criminal circles. <laughs> I didn't mean to apply that at all. Um, and, you know, he worked with uh, a very famous DJ and they, they made that song. And it's, it's amazing. It's, it's my whole childhood in one package, music-wise. It's, yeah, it's hilarious. It's, I was so surprised, that's what I meant. So I'm really curious how this is gonna go. Hold on, I'm trying not to hit the other shelf there. Oh, all full? That one too? Hold on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, there's always... Here's the thing. Politics are not allowed in Eurovision. Every damn year there's something going on in Eurovision with a lot of politics. It, that's just how it works. And it's true, a lot of people are boycotting it. I honestly hope they boycott the reason people are boycotting it. So that people won't have to boycott it. We're not talking about the subject, why? Because that's too sensitive for YouTube. But people who get it, who get it. Yes, Ghost Clan. Um, the opening of the song is Scooter. It's just basically, it's a throwback to Scooter. Or honoring him, or however you want to put it. Um, there's Eurobeat in there, which is was very big in... Uh, Japan and other Asian countries. So he has Asian dancers in there. He is talking about unification of Europe as it is now. You know, we don't longer need a passport. He's singing in multiple languages. Um, French, Italian, German. Oh, did... Why did I order that? I must have mixed something up. Um, doesn't matter, we'll just put it in, we'll sell it anyway. And, uh, so Eurodance, and then there's a very specific type of music that was very big in the Netherlands when I was young. Um, it, it has several names, I generally uh, use, call it Hakkabar. You'll immediately recognize it when it comes by, it's a very different type of music. They threw in a whole bunch of famous p Dutch people in the clip. It's, oh my goodness. There are windmills and partying people. And it's, and the whole thing is, um, uh, like he's honoring his father with the song. His father, his parents died when he was very young and he's literally making the song for his father. And the ending is literally him saying goodbye to the grief. So, it's, yeah, it's very different. So I'm really curious how it's going to do. <laughs> so for the first time in a many, many years, I'm actually excited about the Eurovision in advance. Generally, I just get like, oh, it's a party tonight and it's, I'm going to watch the end show. Right? <laughs> the clip is crazy. But yeah, the first I was like, oh my god, this is awful. And then I heard it again. I was like, oh, not that bad. And now it's great. It grows on you. It's really, it's just fun. It's just fun. Okay, in the meantime, while I yapped that full about Eurovision to a bunch of Americans who probably don't even know what it is. Um, <laughs> no, I know Australia is here too. You guys are in there. Well, no, you're in New Zealand, right? Yeah, the shoulder pads are great. It's it's a complete throwback to the 80s and 90s there. Kiwi, you're New Zealand, right? Not Australia. 
because I'm afraid now I'm mixing things up. But yeah, Australia is in there too. Songs can grow on you, yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you just smile and wave, smile and wave. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me do a quick check to see what we had and uh, what we wanted to buy. And that's the rest of that aisle. So let me see what... We can put two more items. Uh... No. I said aisle and then I'm typing aisle when I wanted the bleach. Oh yeah, make sure we don't miss anything at the bottom because it happened before. That's why the putting things like so is so handy. I just, I guess I can throw in another one of that bleach. Fill up the shelf, fill up the order. Oh, here we go. And then I have a couple of shelves that I've never really filled up. I'm trying to get full. Could add some cake, I guess. Didn't I order mashed potatoes? Am I missing boxes? Or is that in this order? Ah, this confuse me for a moment uh yeah just do some cake there you go okay meantime we can open the the shop yes a kiwi okay the now, the thing is that it, it's honestly a little bit weird, of course, that our non-European countries are joining in on the Eurovision, but it, it has to do with the company that has the broadcasting rights. They also broadcast, for example, in Australia. So they broadcast the show in Australia, and of course it's very early for them. But it got so popular that they eventually let them join. Not entirely sure how they got invited or if they asked to join or the thing is it's probably gonna be a while before they win because they need to really win over the viewers and a lot of people are sitting at home like why the hell is Australia joining you know <laughs> so it's nothing against Australia it's just like well, why are they in here I don't quite remember who Danny is. But then I don't know. I'm usually not this big a fan. I don't have every contestant in my head, basically. I mean, I know the classics. Oh, where the hell? Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> it's like, where the hell did I put the cake? Really, there's barely any collision in this game. It is very nice. I don't think there's a real rivalry between Canada and the US. But, uh, but it used to be very normal that... So the way points are given in Eurovision have changed a lot over the years. So it used to be that only the, you know, jury members would give points. So obviously the Netherlands and Belgium gave each other points. The Netherlands and Germany gave each other points. Norway, Denmark and Sweden gave each other points. I think Finland too, but um, a lot of points. I'm talking about the high points, you know. 12 points go to, and then of course you had Cyprus and Greece, etc. Et it went on. All the, all the real neighbors that weren't mad at each other were giving each other points. 
Uh, but that changed over time now that the you know, the people at home have a lot more to say in who wins. It's basically 50-50 now. So the jury members can't really make it that political because it would be silly. I the Hoens. Jesus. <laughs> oh, it was a big deal that Australia was invited, but not New Zealand. I didn't know that. But then I was completely surprised when Australia suddenly joined. Like, what the hell are they doing there? <laughs> They're the wrong side of the planet. Yeah, pay for Rojadis. <laughs> oh, I remember when I was 18 and on the internet for the first time. Yeah, it was an interesting uh, experience, but uh, people would ask, like, do you guys have refrigerators? Yeah. Absolutely no idea about other countries whatsoever. Bars. Poor Edgar. You'll have to start brewing yourself, Edgar. Just take that big basement and put one of those giant brewing kettles in there. Go make rakia. My people, we need money. Oh, we're already level 45? Yeah. I really need to take a picture a bit earlier. It's already dark. Oh, yeah. Guy Sebastian. I do know him. I really love this. Uh, I think it was one of his first albums. Oh wait, was was Danny the one in the big white dress, black hair? Uh, something about silence, I think the song was. I was gonna say sound of silence. I think that was one of the lyrics actually. It was that one I do know. She came very close to winning. I think really the only reason she didn't win was because she was from Australia, which is really sad. I don't remember who actually won that year. But a lot of people insisted last year that Finland should have won with Cha Cha Cha. I wasn't a fan. Wow, look at her go with all those bottles. With the tramp stamp. Sorry. <laughs> Just making fun of the NPCs. Yes, yes, that's her. Good night, Exila. 70% uh, of American college students don't know where most of their states are. Yeah, sometimes you're in the interwebs and weird stuff comes by. There was this woman who was really mad that Europeans made fun of Americans. It, it happens the other way around as well. Because um, they made fun of the fact that Americans didn't know where the European countries are. And she said, well, do you know where all the states are? And of course, that got a lot of reactions like, no, but your states aren't countries. You know, th that kind of discussion. It was interesting to get that on my page for a while. 
Because if you watch one, you get them all. Oh, that was, she was so mad. But yeah, we don't compare countries with with states. It's uh, it, it, you know, do you know the Dutch provinces? I don't. <laughs> I'm really bad at that. Oh yeah, earlier I think it was C zero when you got it. Can I see that? Because Gwen gave five and C zero gave five. Well, Holland is not a province, Edgar. Tisk tisk. <laughs> it's uh, North Holland and South Holland are very different provinces. Hey, Dimas. No, that. Like, who who cares about it? I understand that the states do are a bit more different, has more difference than you know Dutch provinces, but yeah. Her name was her name wasn't Emma Koch. She was French. Or is it someone else who covered the song? Wait, is that the girl with um, André Rieu? Holland is not a country, but I don't. I really don't care if you call the Netherlands Holland or the other way around. <laughs> People make a big thing out of it. It really doesn't matter. I can understand you, right? Oh, who cares? It's also it's also our own fault because Holland is a lot easier to say than the Netherlands. <laughs> so the Dutch really did it themselves. Uh, what level is my growth? Too, too low. Uh, let me see here. Did I pay my bills? I did not. There you go. Uh, I'm going for level 9, hopefully, sometime soon. But it's it's so expensive that I've just been squishing everything together. <laughs> instead of getting that upgrade. Um... Eight grades, we not only have to, to know the states, but spell them and know them alphabetically. Oh my goodness. Oh, I actually saw someone talk about that today, how they had to learn a song for it. To, to know, really? That little... Moderation, it doesn't fit. But, yeah. Well, I mean, we only... We only have we have seven, right? Ah, I've never been very good at geography. I'm better with countries than with uh, our own provinces. Uh -huh. Germany's big, though. I don't... Really? I thought that Texas was about the size of Germany. Oh, might be mistaken. Probably am. But yeah, if I want to visit another country, that's an hour's drive. And then you can just go on. I mean, you can get to like... Um, yeah, we went to Croatia with one stop on the way. So it took us two days. The other side of Europe. Ah, uh, no, I already checked those boxes. Hey, Pat, don't do a double. Hello, what are you? Pasta. Welcome to the carnival. <coughs> Mine for fish. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. I'm just... Cleaning up some boxes here. Oh, 
12 hours drive. Eh, I'm not entirely sure how long it would take to... Like, width-wise, Germany, probably 8 hours. But lengthwise, from north to south, it's a lot, a lot longer. Hey Da Vinci, it is twice the size of Germany. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it wasn't that I didn't believe him. Oh, uh, hold on. Mashed potatoes, yogurt, and spaghetti. Yogurt and... No, mashed potato and spaghetti. That's it. Oh, I can't overtype it? No, I can't. I need to start over. Uh, 340, there you go. And what did we say? Spaghetti. Different aisle. Welcome to the most uh, claustrophobic store we could find. There you go. I wouldn't want to drive through whole Australia, absolutely not. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know. Last half full or empty. Then we just put them on the show. Well, keep in mind though, Edgar, that the the world map as we know it is really wrong, right? I mean Alaska's absolutely big, but it's Canada is a lot smaller than we actually see it on the map. <laughs> Netherlands is really, really small. Yes, let's go get it. Uh, wait, let me set up the fridge. I would have liked to get the other fridge too, but it can wait a bit longer. Let's put it there for a moment. Let's see if we can move it to back to the left a little bit later. Ish tight. <laughs> All right, our last license for level 42. Here we go. And then we need to get to level 56 to get more. But we really need more space first. <laughs> I didn't miss a raid or anything, did I? I really wish they would add like a notification for YouTube for that. Because there is one for Twitch, so I don't know why they didn't add that for YouTube. And then I wonder about more things with Streamlabs. They just have so many options, I wouldn't want to give it up. <laughs> ah, you're in Houston right now. It's actually quite cold here at the moment. So. But we don't have a lot of money to order stuff, so we'll see how we're going to do that. So let's get our sodas, our new sugar, and our new coffee. Perfect. Let's order that first. We can do our setup. Um, hold on. How do we want to set this up? Guess we'll put the sugar up top. The coffee there. Yeah, that works. Okay, so what kind of soda do we have? We have a tropical. Why can't I put that? Yeah, there we go. Weird. 
Uh, the next space upgrade is 16,500. This looks like something uh, with orange. Kinda? Hold on. Oh no, I can't see, can I? I can't look back to see what we have. I can look in the store, hold on. Um, so that's this one. Soda Pulp. Ropico, though that's Tropico. Kujima. And Jutistu. Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> this looks like a... Black goo. It looks like cola. Oh, hold on. It definitely looks like a cola. Okay, what's our last victim? Something red. Okay. Ali up. Actually, do we? I just, I'm just thinking that it's probably better. Hold on. If I put the milk here, back here, we can just leave everything as is. And then later on, I can put the butter here. Hold on. Just cleaning this up a bit so I can see better how much we have. Oh god, not this time again. Um... What was the tip someone gave me? Oh, I don't remember. Someone told me how to fix this. And I don't remember what it was. My last victim, yes. Sarsaparilla. Now that's something I would like to try. Because that's something we really don't have here. Sarsaparilla. It's some kind of soda. And I have, I've never had it. I've never smelled it. It's, I've seen it from America on YouTube. But that's it. Ah, it was her. Okay. Yeah, same here, Mickey. It's a root beer. Okay. Hey, Chris. Wayne Wise, thank you very much for subscribing. Oh, was it? What do you mean it doesn't match the size? Yes, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's this one. Oh, so if you just put... That was it. I remember now. If you just put it on the storage shelf. And then... It still doesn't work. No, no, it doesn't work. Well, luckily, it's an empty box. Away with you. Now, what I'm thinking is that if I put... I mean, right now, I'll use it for the soda. But if I put another... Fine. Uh, if I put another fridge here, I can fit exactly those four sodas there. Or whatever order I want. And I can put the butter here. And that means we have more room for the meats. Yeah, that works. Yeah, the yogurt really needs a lot of space too. Oh, well, we'll have more fridges in the future. Let me see, because really, this looks like cola. I would like to put it over there. I'm true. Let me see what it looks like. It's a black goo. So 
what order do we want to do this in? Yeah, okay. Hold on, I'm a bit stuck here. <laughs> it's, it's too small. It it reminds me of the you see it in Germany. It's a mix of like an, an orange soda and a cola. wondering if we should turn it around well I can always do that another time um oh wait yeah you can now go in with the other one there you go okay so we have green then I guess we'll put pink have to red over here that one can go in here for now we'll move that when we buy the other fridge perfect all right all new products and we have 200 200 dollars to fill the whole store <laughs> next to the green and red next to each other that's that's pretty bad actually i should have turned this around Oh no, because we do yellow and then red. That that works. I'm trying to keep the clashing colors away from each other. <laughs> Christmas colors, that's true. Alright, let's... Um, is there anything expensive, like, really gone? We're actually pretty low on... Yeah, we don't have sushi. Okay. I don't want to take the 2k loan when we work so hard. Let's get the 750 on the shortest. If I must, I can always switch to the 2k. It'll just cost us, what was it, $37? Okay, what do we need? Alright, let's put this on fridge. Looking at the pricing. Eggs. I think all the cheese can last the day, but we need hummus. Big sushi, definitely. It's gone. Gone, gone, gone. That's an expensive one. Mm -hmm. How much is the tuna? It's hard to see how much you have sometimes because I can't really... I think it'll be fine. Mm, the rest of the drinks look good. The meats, I filled them yesterday. We need crab and we need chicken. There you go. All right. Uh, that was the freezer and fridge. Let's do some. No. Put them in any first, then cleaning. There you go. Oh, yeah, price them. Thank you. All right, Kiwi. See you next time. Oh, wasn't connected. Uh, let's start here. A 270. Really, sodas are not the big profit makers. But they're easy and cheap to fill up, basically. We were playing with fire. Everything turned to dust. When we aim to say higher, we got lost and dragged each other down. We kept running. 
Yeah, that's the sodas. And then here we have the sugar. Yeah, this is not the best the best license to have. Profit is really low on this one actually. Still wanted to get it. Okay, I think the sodas are good. Oh wait, it's still oh well that's fine on shelf. Um we definitely gonna need some more of those than a black coffee. Oh wait, I didn't check the rest of the cleaning items, did I? Oh yeah, we definitely need toilet paper and the rest is good. Mm. I have some in storage if we run out, so it'll be okay. Oh, I've already filled that yesterday. Could do with some sugar though. But that's not so expensive. 13. Oh, wait, we're full up. Do we need the brown sugar? Still got 300 bucks. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, we sold a lot yesterday. <laughs> okay, little bread, blue rice. Those are very cheap items, though, in that aisle. Cereal-wise, we need the chocolate one. Two potatoes. Salt. Yeah, okay. So, salt. Potatoes. Two. Flour. That'll be fine for a day. Mm -hmm. Possibly for some green oil and some chips. Let me see here. I don't think we can afford the chips. No. No, it's actually very expensive. Um, what I can do, however, is add them for an afternoon order. Mm. What else do we need? We need more big sushi for an afternoon order. I did get some. Was it this one? Okay, let's fill up and see what else we need in the afternoon order. Because I knew I didn't order cheese, but the rest I'll need to watch. Or view. Hey, Lexi. Uh, oh, I might as well... Uh... Yes, I did get salt. Thank you. Uh, let me check the coffee. Coffee set, right? I did. Thank you. Well spotted. It's late. My eyes are starting to bother me. The thing with these kinds of days is that um, 
So the loan is not a big deal because it's really cheap to borrow $750 for five days. It's that now I don't have enough money to fill up the store as I want to. So in the coming days, I'm going to have to catch up to that to get the shelves full again. I mean, I'm not going to run out, but the shelves are not full. As I would like them to be. So we're going to be spending a lot of money just getting back to where we were. Uh, yeah, just stock-wise. Uh, yeah, this is the right aisle. I got the most important things, though, so... Damn, our tower fell the wrong way. I think we could use actually one more of this one for the afternoon order. Because it's always going to go fast. Boop, boop. So will you be driving this weekend, Auntie? I don't know if you're on the road right now or home. I know you're not driving right now, but I didn't know if you meant actually physically driving or do you mean like driving as in on the road at all? Long, long trips. Why did, I, why did I order that pizza? <laughs> it's always the case when it starts getting late, I I, I start ordering the wrong items. So it's a thing. Probably just looking uh, the wrong way. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, it's... Uh, I did like a rework of it, both uh, yesterday mostly, but today I uh, I finished up by adding some shelves and some more fridges. And really, this is the most squished layout I could imagine with the space that I have right now. Because <laughs> you have to realize that each shelf is, they're parked against each other. They literally can't get a centimeter closer anything not to the wall not to each other well maybe they could come this way but that's not the point right i did get salt yeah there's the little box i see it uh it's a bit more cramped than a real store unfortunately <laughs> My salt! Rude. Boop, boop. A loop around the whole country? Jesus. It's your long walk. Wrong aisle. Assaulted, yes. Right, the tuna. I didn't order that either. Yeah. Uh, what else? We need ham. Uh, can wait though. 
Oh, you know what? Throw some peanut butter in there. There, that way it's not too high. Okay, and I can take a drink. There you go. Boop. Yes. Welcome back, Rob. All clean and fresh. Um, so that's 580? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Oh, Dragon Ball C shirt to, uh, to honor its creator. Well, he made Dragon Ball. Did he also make Dragon Ball Z? I know he was working on... What was it? Dragon Ball Ultimate? Was hel helping with the story such. Need some Ma'am, you're in the way. Oh, he's just looking down. Hold on. Sorry, I'm taking some screenshots of my new layout so I can have a thumbnail for next stream. And generally, it always looks best if I take a screenshot with the lights on on daytime. Just color wise. So bear with me for a moment. Oh, there we go. Now there's a whole line. Now, if people would stop walking through each other, that'd be great. Ah, damn it. The two ladies collided. <laughs> it's a bit busy, but that works. Let's go. <laughs> Just one mayonnaise waiting for so long. Most expensive mayonnaise in the world, too. Now we're talking. Uh, two, uh, 25, 30, 40. There you go. Yeah, uh, what's, uh, what's his name again? Akira. Um, I can't think of his last name. Yeah, I haven't... I've watched Dragon Ball Z until... I think I saw a little bit of the Boo Saga. After that, I really lost interest. Toriyama, thank you. Uh, the thing was that they have built Gohan up so much to be like, oh, you know what, we can... Actually, hold on. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Okay, um, so they had built Gohan up as the real hero and then people were like, yeah, no, we want we want Goku. So they made Gohan go back to being a huge nerd. And... Yeah. Oh yeah, five. There you go. Yeah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> I, I just lost interest at that point. But I, I very much remember watching uh, the fight between Frieza and Goku. Because... 
it took 15 episodes. So if you have an episode every weekday, it took three weeks for that fight. Oh, I didn't even remember that, Auntie. That is... But then, I mean, he was always the worst dad. <laughs> he only cared about training. Who cares about his, three, his two kids? But also the fact that um, even though they, ma they made Gohan's girlfriend... Oh, what's her name again? Vi not Violet. I don't think. Not Vivian. Something with Vi. They made her a fighter, but you know, just like Chi Chi, she was also a fighter. And you know, they were human, so they were weaker. Hit the dot. There you go. Okay, fine. But Gohan, and you know, he was half and half, so he was super powerful. But none of the daughters, or at least, you know, the, the female children of the line, ever really did anything. And it, yeah. As a woman, that annoyed the hell out of me. Or as a girl at the time. It made it less fun to watch. Fidel, that's, that was her name. A beast mode, oh my god. Yeah, no, I haven't watched any of those. But then, you know, purely fighting anime, it's... With extremely long, drawn-out fights and big fillers, and yeah, it just doesn't interest me anymore. Well, yeah, but Pan never reached the level of of any of the others, really, that I know of. But I do know that that Dragon Ball was well, people didn't like it much, did they? I almost forgot to buy my stuff. But yeah, I never got that far, so let me, let me be honest about that. Okay. But yeah, when you only hear bad things about something, it's not really you're gonna be... You gotta be watching, and I know how unfair that is, because... I had a great time with, for example... Um, what the, what's it called? The hair. The hair salon sim um, that I recently played. And it has really bad reviews. Well, I had a great time with it. I mean, it's not perfect, sure, but they already made improvements. I was right on time with that one. Wrong one. Hmm. Yeah, how many Super Saiyan types can they make, right? A lot. We, you can count to forever. Jeez. All right, good sir. Wow, he has a lot of different products. You don't see that a whole lot. It's still not a huge amount, only 130.
How is our chicken doing? Oh, fine. We didn't order uh, or did we didn't sell that much of it. Our new sodas? Uh, they're still there, so nothing ran out. But this is supermarket simulator, yes. Oh, don't think they need me. this oh butter yeah there was one pack of butter left over there and this is prosciutto which I accidentally ordered but if we can get that other fridge move the butter we can add the prosciutto to the fridge there I'll move the soda to over there and then put the butter here next to the milk Makes sense to me. Yeah, I'll have to. If we add more fri fridges, I'm gonna have to make like a whole. In the future, you know, make like another fridge aisle. Well, and then we can put like more freezers in the middle. Because if we buy the, n the next space, we definitely need to need to start thinking about the layout because at 56 it's let me see pasta rice okay so those three that's three fridge three shelf this is i nana sunrise thank you very much for following uh, I don't know if this one... Well, Michael sent me a good link. I'll check it out. Six-pack and keg are definitely... But this this one could be fridge. Because the other one-bottle beers were all fridge, too. Th this one is freezer. This one is definitely freezer. I don't know if the green beans are in the freezer. It could be. They could be. I'll have to look at that. But they're definitely very different, requires different shelving, so we'll have to sort that out. Okay, we check those, nothing there. Oh, no, no one bought potatoes, okay. Salmon. Of course, right when we need to order it, but that's okay. It's not that bad. Mm, yeah, let me just get that fridge. Yeah, we have more than enough money, so let's get... One more item. Yeah, we need we need the damn salmon. It's bad luck that it just went up in price. There you go. Line those, then we can bump everything a little bit to the right, which is good because it's uh, sticking out there. Let's do that real quick. Mm 
No, it's fine. Words, it was too much forward. There you go. I mean, doesn't help a whole lot, but a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, move the red one. And then move the yellow soda. Nothing else there? Nope. You go over here. Uh, does that... Yeah, none of them look like they're really from the same brand or anything. So I think we'll be okay. Pulp. Really, the yellow one should be with the, with the green one, though. It's bothering me now. Because that's... That's lemon and that's orange. Sorry, it's just bothering me. Just <laughs> flavor wise, I thought like I okay, I need to split up the pink with the red from the red. But really, flavor wise, it needs to be actually no, this is orange too, isn't it? No, it's it it looks orange, but it's pineapple. It's confused. It's very confused soda. All right, hold on. I need another box. Okay, so how does the red look like? No, that's horrible. Okay, you here. Bear with me. I'd rather do it now that there's barely anything in this fridge than later when it's full. Oh god, is it that time again? Oh my... Why game? Why do this to me? Damn box. <laughs> I'm just praying to put it down. Okay, then the tropical can go over here. You can go in the shelf so that you don't break again. Oh, no, wait. We need to move the... Well, actually, we don't need to move the yellow one because we just bought a box. So we can just fill up the top shelves. The red is fruit punch. Yeah, something like that. This, the label looks very orangey flavored. I mean, it literally looks like an orange on there. You can see it here in the picture. See? Because it's orange. Bonsan gazeuse. A gazeuse is, yeah, basically a Belgian soda. Or, or French, actually, I don't know. I only know it from Belgium. But yeah, it's pineapple. Ananas. I guess it's orange pineapple. This is... Uh, apple and red fruit. Tropical. Wait, red... How the hell are the... Why, why, am I, why am I looking for scents in these flavors? They're joke flavors. But apple and, and red forest fruits, and they call it tropical. It's not tropical, it's tropical. But does this say anything? Yeah, this is... Uh, well, it, it has orange aroma. Let's put it that way. It is not French. Okay. With the, you never know with the Belgians. They like to surprise you sometimes. 
And dirt flavored, yes. It's ba it's black goo. Hold on. What does it say? Kept you waiting. I can't read it, what it says there. Kept you wa waiting. Huh? Un? Something like that? I have no idea what it's meant to be. It could be the German... I don't know what it's called anymore. I never had it. Um, but I do know it exists. It's really a one-on-one -on -one orange soda and cola mix. It's an easter egg from Metal Gear Solid. That must be it. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I like pineapple juice. I never had a pineapple soda with... Oh, I misplaced the coffee. You need to go down there, bad coffee. Bacon flavor soda. I try it. Bacon is usually a very good combo with sweet. Now I'm curious about something though. Give me so gaseuse. What is what what is that? Uh, oh. S. It's not a brand. Well, it is French. The feminine singular of Gazo. But what does it mean? Busy. Oh, it's it's French for like fizzy for a fizzy drink. However, we here have a, a, a lemonade brand that uses it to say like uh, we we sp we pronounce it that Dutch, of course, gazeuse, and then a flavor. So it it basically means sparkling flavor. A bacon ice cream shake? No, no. Things with uh, with bacon here is not that uh, not that popular. <laughs> Other than just you know, bacon. A passion fruit soda. That sounds good. We used to have a mango uh, lemonade syrup that you had to you know you had to add water or sparkling water, whatever you please, and it was glorious. It was so good. I and then they took it out of the, uh, off the shelves. I even wrote the company. I loved it so much. And they said, yeah, no, these companies still sell it. And I was like, yeah, they don't. So no use writing to you now, is it? Okay, we got our new products all filled up. I honestly think that coffee would look better over there. Because it fits so well with the pink and orange. While I'm at it, let me switch that. Uh... Hold on, we need to make some, we need to play with space here for a bit. <laughs> complaints complaints from the back oh not you much better it it was bothering me there we go <laughs> 
it's a thing, right? That's the thing when you can set up your own supermarket. If the colors bother you, just switch things around. Yeah, this this greenish yellow just didn't match this blue orange at all. It was very ugly. This is much better. Besides, these two look like they really belong together. Obviously, in the future, we'll have like each item will have its own shelf, and then we'll have three coffee shelves next to each other, etc., etc. It'll be fine. What is sleep? Yes, exactly. Well, something I'm gonna do after I had some food and some drink and some time to myself. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, everyone, I'm gonna wrap it up here. We'll uh, we'll start ordering again tomorrow to fill up the rest. I got to finish up with our fridge area, which is looking very good indeed. I'm a, I'm a thick. That's a good spot for a picture, I guess. Uh, I guess here. Would look better if I had filled up all the cola and such. Here, we'll have one of the, all those new sodas. I mean, there's no people in the picture, but that looks good. <laughs> yeah, everyone, I'll be on the Discord for a bit longer if you want to come over and hang out. And I'm going to keep an eye on their Discord to see when this restocker is being added. They said this weekend, fingers crossed. Literally, they had an emote for fingers crossed. So... It depends a little bit. I'm not quite sure if we're going to be doing tomorrow. Saturday is usually my day off, but I, if the update is is released, I might uh, make an exception there. So we'll see how that goes. Either way, I'll be on also on Sunday. So I hope the update releases on Sunday. Yes, it is uh, half past five in the morning. It's time for me to go. <laughs> it's, uh, I started late. We ordered some food and of course that took a while. And then, you know, we had a long meal. So I started a bit later again. I really want to move it forward back again, but it's not so easy <laughs> to switch, uh, switch your whole setting, basically. Yeah, good fun. Well, I hope you like the... Horse Ranch as well. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thank you very much for 186 like uh, likes. I'll be back really soon. Yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe Easter Freya was a little bit early, but that's okay. She's having a good time. I'll see what emote we can uh, add to that when Easter is over. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit messed up at the moment with my starting time. It used to be that I always started around uh, my 8 p.m., 8.30. And now, I think today I started at like 9.30. It depends a little bit on how it goes. Uh, but like I said, generally I'm, um, I take the day off on Saturday, but I need to see. If this update drops tomorrow, I'm definitely playing it, so... I want to. I want to see that restocker. Uh, time to get some food and something to drink because I'm out. And uh, give attention to the kitties because they've been waiting here next to me. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I wish you a good night. Oh, I think yeah. Now it's 186. I think someone uh, didn't like my yammering. <laughs> it's all good. I'll see you all really soon. If you want to be more up to date on how it all goes uh, and the schedule, do join the Discord. Because uh, easier to ask me there. Poor neglected Freya, she's wasting away. Oh yeah, that, that heated blanket here is just such cruelty. Good night everyone, I'll see you on the Discord.